This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a new and unique website. Showcase your work, blog, or publish content. Even sell products and services of all kinds in just a few clicks of a mouse, my dear boy. You can customize everything from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I may be ostracized for being ostrich sized, but I'm no loon, so don't be a dodo or I'll get owly. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Hmm, interesting. Thanks to Ironic Merman. Seems like he would be trafficking within uh, catchphrases of the deep sea rather than of the air, but uh, thanks He's to He's going him. against brand. <laughs> yes, can, we, can, brand. We, can we take that again? You spiked on deep sea. I sp- uh, spiked... Uh, Audio spike. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you were saying I spiked a football or something. No, 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 no. Uh, that wouldn't affect the sound as much as your audio spike. Okay, you want I, me to take this again? Uh, not the whole thing, because God forbid, I'm not <laughs> listening to that fucking thing again. Okay, uh, where do you want me to start from then? Uh, just just hit me from just the part that you spiked on. Well, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what word that was. <laughs> I think you said merman. Mer- merman. Okay, merman. merman. Did we get that drop? Hold on one second. Again. Merman. Perfect. Okay, good. Got it. Thank you, Gino. Hey, no uh, problem. Welcome to and Comedy Bang Bang. And I gotta go, okay? You're leaving now? I Wait, got we it. just I got started the show. Catch. Wait, <laughs> you just <laughs> caught a flight. You just got off the airplane I know, and walked but it was, in the studio. It was cheaper to have a one hour layover in LA. In LA. <laughs> LA. Oh, shit, I'm so Okay, tired. you spiked during LA. Can, oh, you, can yeah. you get a drop? Yeah, clean one, please. L A. Too much. <laughs> yeah, way too much. <laughs> too Half much. that. Half that. LA. Ooh, boy, split the diff. L A. A. Good, okay, got good, it. Good Perfect. diff split. Good, great. Possibly, possibly. <laughs> the great boy. This is a mess. Actually, sure. we we need one with possibly. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry. Okay, possibly the best diff Perfect. split in the Perfect. history yeah. of possibly's. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show uh, for another edition of Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, my name is Scott Ackerman. I am your host, and uh, we are deep in Navi Doggy. Of course, that is. Uh, there's no dispute about that. In fact, uh, the good old Turkey Day just coming up here on Thursday. So that's uh, uh, that's exciting. We'll talk to uh, our guests about what their plans are uh, and to whom they are giving thanks. Uh, but uh, before we get to that, uh, I want to say hello to all of our listeners out there around the world. <laughs> okay, check. <laughs> <laughs> you were not, you're not, because you said you mentioned something about doing individual hellos to every yeah. listener around the world. I, uh, I don't you have sh- time to do half a million hellos. I fucking Googled how to say hello in like a 11 languages. Okay, go ahead. I'll, uh, no, I, I'll I, give I, you 10. I wrote them down and put them in front of you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Are they not there? Yeah. Who fucked me? Chain of custody. Uh, that Kevin I, character. I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's Chef Kevin. Chef Kevin. Out there trying to trying to put him into recipes around the this world. This motherfucker pushing his agenda on us all. Yeah. Uh, speaking of pushing an agenda, I want to say hello to every. Oh, no, I did that already. So let's say hello to our guest. First of all, Gino, our, uh, our uh, what do I call you? You're I'm not, not the engineer. I'm not a guest. I'm, a, I'm an intern, but I do do some light board work. Right. Yes. Very light because actually we have <laughs> You're nowhere near engineer the board. Cody Sam yeah. over here actually right. doing his duties. I'm just keeping out for the, the sound speeds. There's okay. no audio spikes and action. Whenever you're ready, Scott, start it up. Okay. So this, uh, this please get rid of everything before this because yes, this, yeah, has actually, been, this has been the worst episode we've ever I'm going to take so a pass at this and drop everything out that I say. Everything that you say? Yeah. Okay, everything. Because right. I'm just, I'm just Wait, we're going to look crazy. No, you're not. Don't react to me. <laughs> Wait, that was a reaction. What do we do? Well, we'll just we'll insert some other thing that you guys laughed at, like a YouTube video. Or yeah, something. or a funny a funny sound effect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, great. So I just, got this whistle guy I've been working with. Uh, oh, I thought you meant you've been doing an impression of a whistle guy. Oh God, no! I wish. No, <laughs> could, could you do an impression of like a I don't know, like a boner or something like that, like yeah, coming sure. out of? Okay, go ahead. Oh, 
fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay, so just put that in <laughs> before us laughing. I didn't hear what you said at the end. You said you wanted me to do an impression of a boner coming. If I, um, you, I, I, I did laugh at that, but I'd like you to drop out my laughter. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, be okay, take John's out. Okay, so we're going to take all of John's laughter out, That's all of right. my lines, and it's just going to be Scott screaming at himself for a half hour. Yeah, yeah great. Well, I love it. A, at least the show is only a half that's hour. What, that's what was happening when I walked in here. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, welcome to the show. It's not like this every week. Uh, I am, of course, uh, the host, and we have our uh, intern, Gino, over here. But w- uh, normally on this show, this is the show where we talk to interesting people. John, I don't know whether you've been on the show uh, since we've trademarked our catchphrase. Uh, no. The, the show where we talk to interesting people. N- no. Doesn't that sound great? I certainly haven't been on the show since I trademarked my catchphrase. Oh, what is yours? Bing bong, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we tra- <laughs> That was off mic before but the show But it was started. officially trademarked. It was, a, no, 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 no. Did you mail your, that to the writer's He has field? a notary right. public standing next I wrote, to it. Wrote, I wrote it in calligraphy. Uh, I sealed it with my insignia <laughs> ring and mailed it to myself. <laughs> uh, let's let's introduce him. He is uh, our guest supreme, as they say. Uh, I don't know oh. who they are. Yeah. but uh, He's on one the, of the aforementioned uh, interesting people. On the show where we talk to interesting people, he is one of the most interesting. Guest supreme means I come with guacamole and... <laughs> <laughs> and that nacho sauce, and whatever nachos, it is. Nacho sauce an and potato article. wedges. You mean queso. That's not, you know. Queso, yeah. I read the sure. interesting article about right. the person who uh, invented that. You for spiked a, a little on queso there. Did Can I? Okay, let me do it one? again, all right? Okay. And yeah. Ketho. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got the list down. Yeah. That's great. But uh, he is one of our longtime favorite guests. He's been on the show many times, and he has a new book out, uh, which we'll be discussing, called Vacation Land. Uh, Print is Collins? alive. What's that? Print is alive. I yes. yes. Oh, absolutely. Print right. is back. It, it is uh, Viking books. Viking books. That's right. And uh, in fact, print is so back that you'll have it all over your fingertips after you read this book. And that, that is right. John Hodgman's promise that to I, you. I, 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 to, I said to the, uh, I want the, I said to the publisher, I want the ink to be the worst quality. Yeah, and just sopping wet. I just wanted to. Yeah, exactly. Do you have the non-drying ink? Great. <laughs> Great. Printed that way so that the whole thing looks like a Rorschach. <laughs> All my work was for nothing, but people will find themselves in it somehow. Doomsday clock, by the way, out in uh, comic stores, speaking of Rorschach. Uh, <laughs> I do not recognize any of the Watchmen universe post Alan Moore and <laughs> Steve Gibbons. Uh, Dave Gibbons. Dave but, Gibbons. Uh, oh, my God. I, I, knew I had it wrong. Uh, let me introduce this Wait a minute. Hang on. I got to drop this bit. Yeah, yeah. drop it back yeah. in. Dave Gibbons. <laughs> you got your cadence <laughs> perfectly right, by I the am, way. I am myself a podcaster and audio professional. You've listened to my yes. podcast, Judge John Hoffman. I, I thought, uh, yes, Judge John Hoffman. <laughs> we talked about that before. Yeah. Uh, please welcome back to the show, John Hodgman. Hello, John. Hello, how are you? I am fantastic. Don't worry about me, though. Let us tarry no I further. Really, I and, really uh, wasn't. Let us talk to you uh, about your book, Vacation Land. You know, you, you're an avid reader, right? I'm a big time. Well, I've got cross-country flights like uh, intermittently, like once every five weeks, sometimes two weeks in a row, but often it sorts out to about once. What's your... What's your uh, what What's your uh, your loyalty program? What uh, what video game are you playing? What's your miles? What's I'm, your I'm, a, I'm a Sky Mile guy. Sky till Mile. I die. Yeah, yeah. Let me just tell you something. I'm in a very good mood because as I sat down here, I completed my check in for my flight to Phoenix tomorrow on my Vacation Land book tour. Congratulations! And I see that I am a 2,000 medallion qualifying miles from a Delta Diamond medallion. Diamond. Shit, oh, dog. Yes. oh shit! That's what Rick Ross is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm so close. I am so close to where, Diamond. Where are you? Let me let me look it up. You you talk while I look it up. All right. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, we're they are a sponsor, by the way. Are they really? Yes, they're a sponsor of this very program. So uh, So always nice to uh, hear from them. Hello, Delta. Hello, Delta. But this is not sponsored content. No, this, no is this, not is brand, not, this is not branded content. Because I'm in wood. Y'all, no spawn con. No spawn Wait. con. This is for real. <laughs> Your wood what? status? I'm wood status. Wood, I'm wood no. status. Yeah, wood I had, medallion? I had bronze, but they knocked me down. Did they knocked you down By the to way, wood? When, wood? when you say wood, drop in that boner coming out. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 34,000 miles till diamond. I'm not oh, going to get it. I don't, not this year, I don't think. I don't think. No. Okay, although, uh, Unless you get challenged to a race around the world. That's true, by Jackie Chan and Steve Coogan. <laughs> Ideally. Would you like was, me to challenge you to a race around the world? All right, go ahead, John, please. I'll race you to Phoenix starting this weekend. <laughs> stand by, stand by. I have to do this the right way. Okay. Well, you're taking off your white gloves. That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He has black gloves on underneath them. Oh, you know, wow. Uh, where's my cape? 
Did oh, you like, uh, I'm sorry. No, you're supposed to be a second. I Gino. left it down in the stable. <laughs> did you need it like in the room? I thought I left. I'd leave it in your uh, saddle pack would be your best bet. Did you? You you left it on my Clydesdale? <laughs> yes, of course. Well, I didn't realize. Okay, well, yeah. Me and the Clydesdale I rode in on. Yeah, yeah you, yeah, you right. ride the one of the Budweiser Clydesdales it's around ter- the country. Ter- you know you? what? It's a terrible horse for riding. <laughs> I, it's yeah, a yeah. wagon horse. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be riding. And it. it's drunk all the time. It's it always must drunk. shatter your yeah. perineum they trying to ride something like that. Yeah. Well, it's a very. It's a broad. It's a broad horse. <laughs> you're nearly in a full split. Yeah, I bet. I, what I did was uh, I got I got one of those HGTV tiny houses and I strapped it on top of it. And oh, oh pagoda style. Is HGTV a sponsor? They should be though. Let's give them a shout out. H and then do your boner sound. Okay, okay yeah. go ahead, John. Hey, HGTV, here's Gino. Oh, God. <laughs> so well, the first time it was pleasurable, and the second the Ex- second two times. Well, Scott, I'm not trying to speak from too much experience here, but the third one is usually a little rough usually, to get out. Yeah, you know? maybe, maybe that's a, now you're, you're beginning to feel like you have an addiction problem. <laughs> have the two of you met before, by the way, John and uh, Gino uh, over Gino, here? Gino, Gino and I have worked together before when I'm in town. Yes. I normally, ha- I normally have a... A, pr- a professional valet. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, or a squire. And, and a squire. I thought is what I thought I was doing because it's a horse and shit. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the guy downstairs almost fucked me. He tucked a little valet tag right in the horse's butthole. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I know it has no wipers, but this you cannot do this. Right. <laughs> I was like, and why was that your first instinct? And you're so casual. Yeah. And don't you think the eyebrows are the wipers of a horse? Yeah, how big are brows on Clydesdales? I couldn't really take notice. <laughs> they have big, big, bushy eyebrows. Uh, they're they like really Peter do. Gallagher style. Yeah, they're like they're Groucho Marx. They're the Anyone named Gallagher, they're the, really? They're the owls of the equine world. <laughs> that's how. That's how. That's why they're called that. Guys, ah. before before we get to the book, uh, let's talk about Thanksgiving plans because it's this Thursday. So what do we got, well, Gino? What I mean, you're uh, are you flying back to Long Island? Yeah, I'll be flying back to Long Island uh, directly to West Islip Airport. Uh, that's why I'm on Delta Wood. Um, <laughs> Because you go to that particular I go to, airport? I only fly to West Islip Airport, which is a private airplane airport. <laughs> <laughs> so to fly out of uh, Palm... It's, look, I'm not going to get into it, but big traditional Long Island plans, which is Wednesday night, everyone meets in Mulcahy's. We get fucking shit hammered off boxes of rocks, which is a bucket of rolling rocks, six rolling rock ponies for $7. We get all fucking lit up and out of the weeds. And then you wake up and you eat turkey and shrimp cocktail or whatever. I don't give a fuck about Thursday, but Wednesday night's the night. Bro. Okay, Wednesday is it Wednesday night Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve bro that's the night dude. Mm-hmm. do you have any sort of uh, is is there a Santa Claus character for Thanksgiving Eve oh yeah yeah of course there's a Santa Claus <laughs> in character. New Jersey or no I'm sorry Fuck Long Island Scott for fuck's sake dude I, sorry look, you mean you I, I just think you, I think you spiked a little on that I one apologize. can we get that yeah. again please sure Fuck, Scott. Thank you. Okay, listen if, to me, pal. All right, I, I fucking worked my ass off to learn the difference between satellite radio and podcasts. The least you could do is learn the <laughs> difference. You barely between, done that. I know. Well, that's another. Well, what I need is I need a refresher course of like the stops of how to get there. <laughs> well, if you're getting there, the best bet is the Babylon Line. That's the one runs along the south shore of Nassau okay. County. So you're looking at if you're at that point, you're looking at uh, Jamaica, Rockville Center, Baldwin, Freeport, Merrick, Belmore, Wantaw, Seaford, Massapequa, Massapequa Park, Am. Amityville, Copeg, and Babylon. Copy, copy. That's going okay. east. So if you're going west, it's like right. the reverse order of that, which is something to the effect of <laughs> Babylon, Copeg, Amityville, Massapequa Park, Massapequa, Seaford, Wantaw, Belmore, Merrick, Freeport, Baldwin, Rockville Center, Kew Gardens, and then fucking Jamaica. And I ain't talking about the land of Irie, bro. I'm talking about Jamaica, Queens. I would love to talk to you about the land of Irie, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, t- t- I've been meaning to. I've been to Jamaica 200 say, times, but never the country. Let's say you want to go from Montego Bay to, what's another city? Massapequa? Massapequa. Yeah, what are the stops then? I think you have to go Jamaica off the Florida Keys mm-hmm. or something like right. that. Is that mm-hmm. correct? P- perhaps. I okay. don't know. Anyway. Uh, you got to get there fast, and then you'll take it slow. Because that's where we all want to go. <laughs> right. Right. Down to Kokomo. Way down Kokomo. to Lake Ronkonkoma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, John? What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, having it at home in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, my wife and I are hosting her family. You we, don't go up to the uh, other house? No, which, which other house? Oh, uh, you know, shit. I have several properties. Yes, I've read the book. Yes. Say the address. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the one uh, the, where you find yourself spending uh, a lot of your time now, not the uh, not your yeah. parents' house. So yeah, so there uh, uh, we 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 had a uh, uh, home in rural Western Massachusetts that had been long, 
that had belonged to my mom, but she passed away and, and gave it to us. Mm-hmm. And more recently, that that's gone back to my dad now, and we are now going up to coastal Maine. Yes, coastal Maine. That's right, coastal Maine, the mm-hmm. painful beaches of coastal Maine. Do you, find, do you ever find yourself I've drained? Been, I've been there. Sorry, Kenny Bunkport. <laughs> yep, been there. Portland. You I've have a friend, there. Kenny Bunkport, you were telling me about, Yeah, right? little Kenny Bunkport is his name. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah he's from the Bunkport family out of uh, Massapequa. They're mm-hmm. great guys. Little Kenny. Um, funny thing, he's not little at all. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's six foot 11. Whoa. Oh, gosh. He's That's a right. freak. He's a fucking freak. The, bu- the Bunkports are ironists at heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, they because like Big Kenny... Little Kenny's dad is actually really small, so they fucking laugh about that for hours. Sure. Right, yeah. Do and they, you don't get it until you see it in person. Then you realize what they're all laughing does about. It, yeah. Do they ever do like one of those trench coat things when they try to buy beer? Yeah, they pretend to be three people, even though they're only two people, because, right. well, you know, Little Kenny's so tall, <laughs> it skews the whole math. So you're so, like, you're averaging about 14 feet tall here, so you must be three. Now nah, we're one person at 6'11 mm-hmm, right. and 4'11. So they're, they're yeah. about 6'14 uh, together. What is, what is their name as one person? Oh, uh, I think they call themselves Voltron. <laughs> uh, some shit like that. Vol- I don't Voltron know. Monkport. <laughs> yeah, Voltron. <laughs> Voltron Monkport. Uh, so you don't go to Maine. You're, you're no, because be it's very, it's very, very far away. Sure. And, and uh, you, uh, it but you, long to you get there. sometimes go there. But well, yes, but don't, when we have more time to spend. Okay, you see well, what I'm saying? Because Thanksgiving you, is one wait, meal is what yeah, Thanksgiving You have the whole day off. You have, like, that's that's one of the longest holidays. You get, like, part of Wednesday all through Sunday off. That's, yeah. like, prime main days. Look, when you're traveling to Maine by Clydesdale, as I do, ah. you need to stop at several inns along the way. Do you know mm-hmm. how shattered your pubis would be if you tried to do that ride unbroken? <laughs> the, you can break the male hymen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the male hymen to you? Oh, God, if you don't know, brother, you haven't lived yet. <laughs> yeah. So you'll be in Brooklyn. I'll uh, be, yeah. Do you my have wife it? and I, were, we're, we're hosting her family. Oh, really? And we decided we are not going to serve any uh, any turkey or okay. any Thanksgiving traditional stuff. What are you going to be serving? Probably, you know, a, 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 some maybe a, a prime rib or something. Okay. We just want to do something, something different. Something non-traditional like prime rib. Yeah. How do you make a prime rib? Like you're going to make a prime rib or you're going to order it? Well, first I'm going to take my Clydesdale. <laughs> okay. I'm explain to you're him. not going to kill your Clydesdale for the prime rib, are you? Okay, I think uh, you need to figure out what prime rib is, bro. It's <laughs> yeah. just like a fancy steak. It's sure. a fancy steak. Yeah, okay. but the whole point was the whole point was we weren't going to cook turkey in order to make my wife's family mad. But they're like, oh, yeah, we like that. Oh. So it's not as much fun. Where are oh, we talking? Are we talking South Slope? We're talking Bacoca? Where where are we talking? Uh, let's see. If you Crown were, Heights? Right. If you were traveling Diker there. Heights? If you were traveling there, say, from Herald Square. <laughs> Fair enough. You'd go. So you'd get on it at 34th Street you on the F train, 23rd Street, I 14th Herald Street. Square. Uh, and then you West got West Fourth, Fourth yeah. then Broadway, Broadway Lafayette, Lafayette, Second Avenue, East, East Broadway, Broadway, York, York Street, Street, J Street, J Metro Street, Tech. That's a, 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 a formerly known as J Street Borough Hall. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Right. Yeah, now then, it's Metro Tech. Right. And then, uh, uh, tech. And then Bergen, Carroll, Carol, Smith and Ninth, Fourth Avenue. Seventh Avenue, and then you would get out there. So that oh, would that's be the, great. Slouse, the South Slope. There, that's yeah. a great area. Yes, thank you very there. much. What has this show become? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Look, John, I want—I do want to talk about the book because uh, it's uh, probably my second favorite book that I've read this year. Number one's the Bible. Uh, I try to read that, of course, on New Year's Day. Uh, <laughs> Get it out of the way. <laughs> sure. You know? Uh, no, it's fantastic. Vacation Land is, of course, the title. And uh, I feel, you know, honestly, John, I, I felt like... After I had read it, I read it, uh, you gave me a nice advanced copy, but it just came out, yeah. but uh, I read it over the- I had, uh, late... I had some really beaten up advanced copies that I was giving I to other people. You guys two, strangely. Get him a nice one. <laughs> two of two different sizes, weirdly enough. Really? Yes. Would you, oh, like, a, like, oh, interesting. One, one was uh, almost like a peachy folder size, uh-huh, and then uh-huh. there was another uh, sort of paperback book size. Well, I said to them, I want Scott to read this, but see if you can make him go slightly insane. <laughs> right. Well, it's smart. Give him a mystery. Give if him a puzzle. If you're going to get a sopping, wet, inked up book, you want to yeah, get right. two just in case you're- Reading it on your white couch or whatever. But I read it over All right, the- Gino, he's trying to talk about my book now, so hang yes, on. I so apologize, right. yes. I read it over the Labor Day weekend, and uh, I almost felt it, it's so uh, charming and funny and uh, most of all revealing about your life. I almost felt like I should write a book back to you because I, I it's it, like I know everything about you now, and you don't know anything about me. That would be the polite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I should make you watch. There was a, there was a time. At gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you start right now? You got that dry erase board in front of you. <laughs> Dear. Uh, 
Dear uh, John. Yes. It is a Ooh, it, it, well, This did not start well. Uh, uh, well <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, a coughing fit from two people at the same time. Oh God. What happened? You guys are sharing a, a oh mouth somehow. We were out of water, so I gave everyone whole milk. But <laughs> yeah, what is going on, Gino? I'm That's not I'm, good for the recording. Uh, yeah. Someone told me about they're putting fluorides in water, so I got a bunch of old whole milk that yeah, we can Yeah, fluoride is good in water. It what? makes it taste good. No, no, no come it can't on, be good. Scott. No? That's, that's mind control. <laughs> You know that? Isn't that what's in the New York water that makes the pizza taste so good? Uh, it's what makes the cheesesteak bun so good in Philadelphia. It gives that pizza that light toothpaste flavor that we love so much. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, yeah, it is a le- the book is a letter in a lot of ways because my old books were full of weird, arch, absurdist, fake facts and Do fake Do you use stuff. every letter in the alphabet in this book? Uh, Did you track that? I, I I should have checked on my Microsoft Word program. Did I use can, every can letter? Can they do that? Yeah, they do. They there's do. there's a little button. Did I use every letter? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you have that sentence like the quick brown, brown fox, fox jumps over, over the, the lazy, lazy dog? dog. Yeah. Well, actually, that's the first sentence in my book. So yes, I guess I did. <laughs> that's smart. Get it out of the way. By Just the way, like Scott reads never, Bible have, to, never have to worry first. about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. jumps over the lazy dog. Otherwise, you haven't used all the letters. Not or, jumped. But he could jump over lazy dogs, and then you right. That's true. Right, and then you're using some letters twice. So yeah, you could also jump over a lazy dog. Is there a sentence where you only use the letters once? That's interesting. Ooh, Maybe I, not. Okay. Um, Suddenly, you mean no a, repeats. <laughs> Suddenly, this has become a very, a very dry comics page column <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a grocery market circular. You have been called the Doonesbury of podcasts. That's I true. really have, mm-hmm. haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Scott's favorite books are the Bible and Vacation Land. Would you say you. that the first half of your book is for Jews mostly, and then the back half of the book is for everybody? <laughs> it is actually in two testaments. The first half of the book is about <laughs> rural western Massachusetts, <laughs> and the second half of the book is, uh, is about... Uh, about all your buddies who betrayed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About a new religion I'm starting up in coastal Maine. And then it ends with the apocalypse. Exactly so. And for, and it, it is a wonderful book. It's uh, I I I believe I uh, put this on some sort of social media platform, I but uh, I, I I read the first chapter and I was already laughing all throughout it. Thank and you. My uh, companions who were there uh, vacationing with me, I was on vacation. You were on vacation. Yes. A- they were looking at me as if I was some sort of insane madman, uh, laughing at at basically the leavings of a tree. Is that the first time you've noticed them looking at you that way? <laughs> no, they were constantly <laughs> the entire trip. The leavings of a tree. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That book is the, the leavings book, of yes. a tree. That's right. Uh, no, you didn't explain right. to them that yeah, there's I forgot words to on the pages yeah, and yeah. stuff like that? I was trying to communicate that idea to Yeah, them, all you got to say is like, there's words, and since I can read, I can understand right, the, the words. Yeah. The leavings of a tree. I forgot Yeah, I forgot that uh, that books are actually tree poops. <laughs> I guess the leaves would be the leavings of a tree. It's right there in the title. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The leaf is leaf. the title of... <laughs> <laughs> now, leaf makes me think Leaf Eric, which makes me think Viking Press. Look mm-hmm. at that. Yeah, yeah There you go. Thank you, Gino. That's what which you're here for. Which unfortunately makes a lot of people think of alt-right, which Viking needs to work this on This is sort of the alt-right book, sort of the alt-right manual. Well. <laughs> Would you say that? The alt-right field manual. Let's move that back. <laughs> you're, you're moving the goalposts? I'm moving the goalposts that I'm, I'm so far that I'm actually using sports metaphors to say, don't say that. <laughs> no, it's a wonderful book. It's, uh, uh, I, will pr- say, I will say, I will say yes. this. It is, it is definitely a, a book steeped in white privilege. Yes, it is. Uh, it is about. You mentioned it a few times. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's the white privilege mortality comedy of John Hodgman at his finest. That's all I have to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, uh, readers of your previous books uh, will perhaps be surprised uh, that this is a little more personal uh, than your previous books. Yes, that's true, mm-hmm. folks. My name's John Hodgman. I don't really. You, you never said that in the older books. No. <laughs> so that's already it's more well, personal. Well, it's not as much that this one's real personal as the others were very impersonal. You're yeah. like, don't ask who I am, just read this <laughs> book. None of your <laughs> fucking business was called. It was one of the and one, titles. And one thing I would and never most of it say was redacted. Yeah. And one thing I would never say in the old books was folks, because I was <laughs> right. I'm not folksy. This is very folksy comedy, though. Yeah, that's right. It's very folksy comedy. It's very gentle. Let me tell you, folks. My name's John Hodgman. You think you know me, but you don't. I don't write a Clydesdale. <laughs> What? I'm a regular. That was a joke. Oh, fuck. Wait, there's an epilogue to this where you say you don't ride a Clydesdale? I'm a regular human being. Oh, that horse is dead, though. I'm just the. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. That wasn't a Clydesdale. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I've been fucking jamming oats down this thing's gullet the whole time. What the fuck was that that you wrote in on? It was a Vespa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You've that been jamming not, oats down. That thing might not run. 
<laughs> oh, no. I wrote a lot. Of, I've told you a lot of lies before in my old books, mm-hmm. but now I'm just telling you the truth about my own dumb life with my own thoughts and feelings. And You're life. a filthy liar. I, yes, exactly so. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, but now I'm trying to make amends. I'm trying Do you feel to your old books were sins because of all the lies? No, I don't. Are you still thinking about the Bible? <laughs> yes, of course. No. Scott love- just can't get Deuteronomy off of his mind. I'm the Deuteronomy of comedy, much like the De- <laughs> Deuter Dunesbury. Um, I completely followed that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. It makes perfect sense. Uh, there's wonderful stories about uh, properties you've bought, boats you've bought. It's basically you're bragging about how much money you have Folks. the whole time. <laughs> You know me. I'm John Hodgman, just a folksy comedian. Sure. Just down, salt of the earth kind of style country humor that you love so much. Mm-hmm. And the book that at the central dilemma of it is I own two summer homes. Mm-hmm. You enjoying my relatable comedy, folks? <laughs> what are you going to buy if people buy this book? Have you thought about that? Is that for the next book? Like, okay, everyone bought my last book, so now I bought this. And then you have a whole bunch of pages about that. We do own a, we do own a, a boat. In Maine, we mm-hmm. accidentally bought a 13-foot Peapod rowboat mm-hmm. uh, at auction. and uh, It was not a blind auction. But you were no, raising was, your hand, just letting your wife know where you were no, sitting. Was, you uh, were like, we're over here, hon, and then someone's like, we saw, sold. No, we saw this boat. We saw this boat uh, that was for sale, and it had been built by a local boat builder in Maine. Who, a famous uh, boat builder. Fa- lo- famously local. Right. Uh, and, and he was famous for being local. <laughs> he absolutely was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. His claim to fame was, I live over there. You can <laughs> right. see my house. I guess everyone is sort of famous for that. <laughs> that's right. Uh, locally famous, famously local, uh, famously uh, angry boat builder named he was angry. Jim you d- Steele. I don't believe you bring that up in the book. Oh, I tell the story in the book. His his neighbor, uh, who's also a boat builder, came over to his uh, oh yes came over to his uh, workshop and he said, Jim, uh, I ran out of white oak, which it, it's a kind of wood, you know. That's case, me, and, baby. Right, right, white oak medallion. He, he just there. said wood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do the drop. <laughs> oh, fuck. Not again. <laughs> it gets worse and worse. And he said, Jim, Jimmy, can I, can I buy some white oak off of you, my neighbor and mm-hmm. fellow craftsman? And Jimmy Steele said, fuck you. <laughs> right. Get out of this in a fucking lumber yard. Go home. And so he's, he kind of expected it. So he went home. And the next day, uh, there was, uh, he heard a rumbling out in, a, out in his yard. And Jimmy Steele's dumping a truckload of white oak into his yard. And he yells at him, there's your goddamn wood. And right. Brian, the, my neighbor, goes, what? I thought you weren't. He's like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. <laughs> and he said, okay, well, how much do I owe you for it? Nothing! Which is the perfect <laughs> right. the perfect spite logic of Maine. Right. Self-defeating spite logic. <laughs> and so he, he built his boat. He, then he died. The boat was up for auction. And my wife has become totally enamored of, she loves Maine more than any other place or person on earth. And it's it's America's was, erect penis, <laughs> isn't it? And then, you and know, Florida's Florida is, is yeah. the droopy dong of and America. And Nevada is its big old pussy. Oh. Yeah. The, Thank you, Gina. <laughs> it, is, it, is an, it is an eternal, rocky, hard place. It is America's rocky erect. Rocky, hard picture show. It is America's erect penis that has had an erection for much longer than four hours and needs to call it stock. <laughs> yes, it's the Viagra riddled <laughs> cock it's, it's of America. Something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> now, I'm not like a finance guy, but you said you have two summer homes. What he's, is yeah. he's in the middle of the story, Gino. Oh, I'm sorry. What's I thought it ended with no, the No, he hasn't even talked about the, the auction, but oh, hang I on apologize. to that question. I hang on to that I, I, we, no, I we had a home in western Massachusetts that we inherited from my mom who's no longer alive. Yes. My dad couldn't emotionally bear to keep it, so he gave it to us to take care of for but wait, a while. wait, he emotionally took it back? No, because what happened was my wife said, we're out of here. We're going to Maine. That's where I want to be. Did she say like Dennis Miller where she like crossed things off on papers? Yeah, like, right. we are out of here. We are out of here. Mm-hmm. And I Great. spun around in my chair. I'll do it right now. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. The cord's it. around his neck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Auto erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> he's, he's got a Viagra oh, riddled boner. <laughs> hey, here, let me get it. Let me get it. Okay, there we go. John, are you all right? I'm fine, thank okay. you. But my now well, anyway, so yeah, that's that my dad's taking that house back and we have this place in Maine. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I was just trying to make a joke. I apologize. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry to shut down your joke. <laughs> no, no, you're right. That, let's hear the second half of the story. Tell me about the auction, John. <laughs> no, what's no, the, I'm no, a fucking asshole. What was, it, what was your joke, Gina? Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you buy one winter home, one summer home? Then you could like mix it up. Because okay. then you know you have one to go to in the summer, one to go to in the winter. Yeah, Sam, okay. when's the uh, joke and, coming? Yeah, well, no, I kind of forgot it in the whole. Uh, <laughs> you know, I watched a man nearly choke and then un- <laughs> and then come back to life. So forgive me for forgetting the back half of the joke. So you were saying anyway. you were a Halfway through the story about how you got we a boat. We went to go look at it. Everyone was, 
everyone was talking about this boat. Everyone was talking about this boat in town. Mm-hmm. And they're all like, it's going to sell for all this money because it's one of the last ones he built and blah, blah, blah. And we all went to go see it, this beautiful boat. And it's beautiful. Beautiful piece of of crafts. They let you see the boat before you buy it. See, I if yeah. I were doing an auction, I'd be like, you can't see this, not until you right. fork over the lettuce, it's, baby. Yeah, it's just a bo- it's a boat shape under a, in a black yes. velvet tarp. Yes, <laughs> and then, although I, that's too much too. Too, I, too much. The boat shape. Yeah, the boat shape. Oh, yeah, not I, even that. No, I put right. pillows in it so yeah. you couldn't tell what right. it was. It's like, oh, guess what? It's not a boat. It's a can of nickels. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry. A lot of nickels though could equal the cost you spent. You yeah, know? it depends on how much. Mm-hmm. So yeah. then, anyways, I, big can. I said, no, sorry, you're not gonna, you're not. This, this, this is an amazing piece of main craftsmanship built with the angriest hands on earth. You're not gonna. It's gonna go for big money. But mm-hmm. you, you love this boat. I love this boat. You make the opening bid. Sure. Because and, and then we'll sit back and watch everyone else. You bid. want to be part of the process. Just make we'll have, the opening bid. Make the opening bid because then we'll know. Even though we're not going to go home with this boat, we will have had a hand in launching it on whatever its new journey is. Mm, and my wife beautiful. said, "Since you are America's greatest storyteller, and you have moved me to tears, I shall do this." <laughs> is that the the conversation you often have with your wife at home? <laughs> well, I and her what she's supposed to say. <laughs> okay. So yes, no. She said, "No, that's stupid." But I bullied her into doing it. So you give your wife an always, intro anytime you walk in the room. Yeah, that's <laughs> Just right. For your children, this is, well, this is what you should say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just say John Hodgman. Uh, he, he, you can say that he was on the Daily Show with John Stewart. Uh, <laughs> she mentioned the computer uh, commercials. Yeah, no. definitely. Well, people <laughs> love that. Well, since right. we've done those. I'd like it if you mentioned my three-episode arc on season two of Red Oaks, please, because I don't feel like that got enough attention. You mentioned some wood. Go yeah, ahead. Right. <laughs> oh, this has got to stop. It's really starting to hurt. I've mentioned both Red Oak and White Oak at this point. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, which one is more pure? Anyway. Uh-oh. <laughs> You've been reading his manual I too know, long. I know, I got all hopped up on the... <laughs> I bully her into making the opening bid, and everyone in the room who's there, there's 50 people there to bid on this boat. Everyone in the, looks at their feet and takes a single step backward. They just shut the fuck up after she makes the opening bid? Yeah, and, the, and, and then suddenly we had this boat that we Were did not Were they intimidated by the Hodgmans? I don't know what... It, it, was, it was a mystery, and after we got it, they would go and they'd say, you, you got a Jimmy Steele Peapod. For next to nothing, what a bargain! What an incredible deal! Good for you! And this went on for hours after the auction, and then weeks after. Anytime wow. we saw someone in town, they would go, "Did you buy that boat for the Jimmy Steele Peapod?" So they were all there. They heard tell of it. Yeah, it was. It became talk of the town. Wow! And I was in the post office, and a guy I never met. Mm, don't go there. Said <laughs> Sam Stockham. <laughs> post office not a sponsor right no I was just I was in the post office not to do any business whatsoever but to hand out stamps.com flyers <laughs> okay thank you I appreciate that you're on the stamps.com so team. And, this guy, and this guy I've never met before but I've seen him around town I knew he owned the inn this is mm. some real this is some so an innkeeper this type. is some real new heart shit <laughs> <laughs> okay just if that's actually what I should have called the book some, some real, real new, new heart, heart shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> much more accurate in terms right. of the tone and, and uh, flavor of the book but he says, uh, uh, are, you, are you the guy who, who bought that Jimmy Steele Peapod for the opening bid? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, what a bargain. Good for you. Hey, there's someone I want you to meet. And now I swear, this is a very small town. Post office is not larger than the room we're in right now, which mm, is small. Okay, let me calculate He this. produced mm, like yeah, a magic right. trick out of thin air, an, an old woman. Mm. And he said, John, I want you to meet Pam. Pam, John is the guy who bought Jimmy Steele Peapod for opening bid, John, this is Pam Steele, Jimmy's widow. Oh. And she she looks me in the eye for a long time. She goes, I wanted to meet the guy who bought Jimmy Steele's Peapod for that amount of money. Oh, oh Jesus. And then she said, good for you. And then oh, she turned, just turned around. Just dripping with sarcasm like she, that? Just just judgment. Oh. And I was like, what? What? This is a trick, right? You guys are playing a mind game. Like, is this what happens in this town? You You... You, have you lure this, someone into an auction. You, yeah, you get this fee pod. You advertise it all over town, and then you 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 figure out which outsiders you're going to sell the pea pod to this you year. You paper the house yeah. with just stooges. That's right. And then you sell them this thing, and they take it home, and then you fatten them up with compliments oh. and 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 uh, and 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 flattery. And then, and then, and then you, you bring, wait until that day. They have to mail something. Right. And then you bring you bring the widow before them to give oh, them final judgment. The grieving judgment. widow. And then that night they. 
ether you and take you down to the <laughs> fairgrounds. This takes place <laughs> in Maine. You, they tie you to a stake, and some old man comes up and dumps a bunch of wood and goes, there's your goddamn wood. Wow. Set that on fire. You God, die. It's got to stop. There was a little bit of blood in that one. <laughs> they take they take the Peapod batch and sell it for someone next year, and that's, that's why the lobster <sighs> monster that lives in the ocean doesn't eat their children. This is like a Castle Rock. Book. I was just about to say, yeah. it takes place in Maine. Yeah. There's yeah, pod right? people. This yeah. is like Langoliers. This is like a rich yeah, This is a total Langoliers. <laughs> Langoliers shot Bangor International Airport, one of the great small airports in this country. <laughs> wow. That was the most excited I've seen you in a decade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. If you want to get to Bangor, you can fly directly from New York City oh or boy, Philadelphia okay. this or off. connections all the way from Detroit. <laughs> well, the book is filled with uh, not directions like that, but uh, with wonderful stories wow. uh, and uh, laugh lines and uh, instructions of when you're supposed to laugh and yeah, trying uh, to make it very clear. It's uh, it's almost like a screenplay in a way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, stage direction. You laughing now? <laughs> yes. Um, do you have a, a one quick last cue before we go? Do you have another book in the in the hopper? You got something in the chamber? Uh, yeah. I really liked writing this book, and it's a different kind of book for me. And I'd like to write another one, and I've got some ideas for it, but uh, I got to write that down so I can sell it. Oh, write your idea down before uh, yeah, give you me forget. that dry erase board. Yeah, here you go. Okay. That's the best place to write that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, my God. This idea sounds amazing. Look at this. I know. Holy shit. That's small this? handwriting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's That's like, like a serial killer. It's like Jonathan Doe in Seven. Oh, sorry. We're not supposed oh, to. Oh, that's spoiler. Wiping all, we're wiping all Spacey's Oh, yeah. No, well. yeah, no Spacey. Isn't that terrible? We can't enjoy any Spacey movie now? I was thinking about him the other I, day. No, it sucks. Usual Suspects, Seven. Baby Driver. <laughs> K-Pax. <laughs> About the young man. Oh, Baby driver. driver. Yeah, he was just in Baby Driver. He's great in he it. He fucked and ruined that movie for oh, me. God damn it. God damn it. What do you think of the Kevin Spacey right before we go? <laughs> Does that figure into the book at all? <laughs> Weirdly. <laughs> All right, we need to take a break. Uh, Gino, can you take us to break? Uh, when we come back, we're going to have uh, – this is exciting. We have a former educator. She's been on the show before, and this is a, a very exciting uh, uh, opportunity to talk to a returning guest. Uh, take us to break, Gino. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. All right, cue commercials, and now. <laughs> People are starting new businesses every day, aren't they? Uh, dog walking businesses, restaurant businesses. What are the other types of businesses? Oh, I'm drawing a blank here. Those are the only two businesses I use. Uh, well, anyway, you probably have more ideas than I do and better ideas. Uh, I only started one business, this one. <laughs> <laughs> which you're listening to. Um, but if you do have a new business, you re you want to make it stand out. You know what I mean? You you don't want it to be like people driving down the street going uh, or flipping through the internet going, uh, business, yeah, business, business. You want you want them to land upon yours and go, ooh, and their interest to be piqued and for them to stop and say, I want to learn more about this business. Well, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, there's one way to do it that I know of, and only one, <laughs> and that is making it stand out with Squarespace. That's right, Squarespace. They have beautiful templates created by world-class designers, and Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a new and unique website. You can showcase your work, or you can put up a blog, publish content, sell products. They have a, an amazing store that you can use. Uh, services of all kinds in just a few clicks of a mouse, my dear boy. You can customize anything they have from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by those world-class designers I was just mentioning. And th they have these designers and they're just sitting around, right? They, they have nothing to do but to create incredibly beautiful templates because they're trapped in a room. I mean, they're not trapped. They're getting paid. But when you're work at work, it's sort of like you're trapped in a way. I mean, if you want that money, you have to sit there, right? So they have nothing else to do but create these incredibly beautiful templates. I mean, this is why they have won awards. You know, they 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 have won awards for their templates, at, at, and uh, they have nothing else to do. Not to mention, everything is optimized for uh, for mobile right out of the box, so you don't have to like go, oh, well, it looks good on the internet on c rectangular computers, but I don't know about mobile. No, everything's optimized for it. Don't worry about it. Nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. And if you do have a question, Squarespace has also won awards for their 24-7 customer support. That's right. They've won the coveted supporties. Yeah, it's amazing. So many years running, they've won these supporties. They're there to help. 
The future is coming, and you can make it brighter with Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, the opposite of a McConaughey, use offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That is squarespace.com, offer code BANGBANG. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with uh, our intern Gino, of course, and John Hodgman oh. of uh, television fame. Uh, have you ever been in a movie? I have been in a movie. I Which was one? In, uh, like one of those Guardians of the Galaxy things? Ba- Baby Mama. Uh, oh, not Baby Driver. Not, no, it was the prequel. <laughs> was that you Baby and Baby Driver? Driver? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're 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 wiping out. Uh, they're CGIing me, and instead of they Kevin should Spacey yes, for... just take Kevin Spacey out of any movie and then put John Hodgman in. You're also yeah. one of the guys in Eyes Wide Shut that's just blocking some nudity, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm the nudity blocker in almost uh, all uh, Delta airplane versions of R-rated movies. You're just CGI sipping tea and yeah, saying exactly. platinum status. <laughs> oh, diamond, thank you. I'm oh, two, excuse me. Two thousand a diamond. Ooh, okay. two thousand a diamond. That should be a mule diamond. Song. Hey, sorry. Uh, can you keep it down, please? Keep it down. No. Shut up. No. I'm doing a show. I need help with my homework. I can't help you with your homework. What What are you even studying? I'm studying the Mayflower and shit. I don't know anything about the fucking Mayflower. I have to write a whole paper on so how America was made. Write it. I don't give a I shit. I can't. You're the one who's supposed to teach me everything. You're my father figure. <sighs> what about your teacher figure? That's the person who's supposed to teach you everything. I'm supposed to come in with a full report or I'm going to get in big trouble. Well, you should listen in class, young man. Shut up. I'm Let's t- make sure we leave all this in. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is my nephew, Todd. Uh, he's uh, staying with me. Uh, oh, hey, Todd. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. How are you? You know. I'm sorry. I have to do it how my uncle says. Uh, Hello, Mr. Sir. How are you? Nice to see you. May I kiss your ring? Thank you, Todd. Um, no, because it's a toe ring. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> kissing it. Ugh. <laughs> Nasty. I'm, my fingers are too thin to hold on to regular rings, even the smallest child size. Yeah, I was going to say. I have a say. Claire's girl's belly button ring on my big toe right now. Oh, my gosh. You got that at Claire's. Uh. I have a friend who works at Claire's. You do? Yeah, her, my friend Tracy. Yeah, he's oh. friends with a teenager. He, uh, he's a little freak, and he won't even hang out with me, though. He hangs out with teenage girls all the time. Shut up, Todd. <laughs> No you're, way. You're, you are uh, disrespectful. Well, can you just tell me one fact about America and the Mayflower and Pilgrims and Indians? Just so I can have something to start my paper with. I know that we didn't land on Plymouth Rock, but Plymouth Rock landed on us. Yeah, can you incorporate what? that somehow? That makes sense. A rock landed on us? Yeah, I think it's metaphorical. Uh, they, had, they had buckles on their baseball hats. <laughs> All right, I'm putting that in. They, they like to cinch them up real tight. Fine, I'm putting that in. Put that hey, in. Hey, mister, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you, sir. May I you kiss do? your ring? Uh, that would be inappropriate. My uncle said I have to do it to every man I meet. <laughs> well, I uh, I don't want to have my face erased from every movie, so please stay over there. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, do you it's know? already been erased from all but one. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Well, wait, I was also in Pitch Perfect 2. Oh, sorry, that's right, I forgot. Uh, and I think they're going to CG me eye in for Pitch Perfect. CG me eye? <laughs> CG me eye! <laughs> they're going to CG eye me eye in. <laughs> Just my eye. Just blinking on like, Elizabeth Banks' forehead. Me right, in Pitch, Pitch Are Perfect 3. Are you Irish? Three. That's right. They're going to CG me eye into every movie. They're going to be CG me eye. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not Irish, but I am from New England, so I do know Wait. quite a bit about Massachusetts. And uh, yeah, John, this is my nephew Todd. Hi, uh, uh, hi. my How uncle locks me in a closet every night. Mm. Um, that's, I, that's fine. That's right? something I need to report. He makes me sleep. In the, he it's just makes, discipline. He okay. makes me sleep standing up in the closet, and then as a reward, I get to sleep in the tub. Oh, a if reward you, for what? For being good for a week. If oh, you can okay. sleep standing up, then you can sleep anywhere. It's I'm training you. Yeah. That's true. For what? What exactly? <laughs> Once he gets in the military. Okay, that's true. They are. They are. They do have him sleeping standing this up. This seems like the kind of sick fuck that should go right into yeah. the military. I don't want to go in the military. I'm sorry, but the minute you're 18, how old are you again, by the way? Oh, uh, middle school. <laughs> right. You can't jerk off in the military. You get in trouble. I'm sorry, but just that's- like jail. It, they put you in jerk-off jail. Oh, you can jerk off in jail. <laughs> jerk jail sounds pretty good. Yeah. I did eight hours in a drunk tank, and they let me jack off like 15 times. Someone they just let kept you. <laughs> yeah. well, you. Well, they made me jerk off 10 times, and they let me do five more. <laughs> well, you would. Uh, As a tip? <laughs> oh, well, you said W O U. Oh, I almost came. Yeah, homonyms don't count? <laughs> oh, yeah, homonyms. I'm sorry. No, ho- no homo. Oh, <laughs> <then it's- laughs> I got almost it. came, but then it stopped. Um, oh, that's the worst. You got to get that one out. That'll go toxic. You're, you haven't gone through puberty Squeeze. yet. Squeeze. 
like, oh. <laughs> yep, just pull it out like toothpaste. Do you still have, uh, I don't, John, I don't know I'm if you. I'm officially distancing myself from this entire conversation. I don't know if you know this about Todd, but No, Todd, I don't know anything Todd about Todd. Todd, or... Todd wished himself big. Oh, yeah, oh. well, uh, I, want, I found a Zoltar machine, and I wished myself big, and yeah. I got, um, uh, I got big for a little bit, but then I got back to small, and my dick stayed big. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's pretty lucky, I that, guess. Uh, so, yeah. So you're aging into your own penis now, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Every day, a little bit older other than that penis. <laughs> right. Yeah. Does your, wait, does your penis also age so you'll have an old man's penis it's when you're in your 20s? It's honestly really wrinkled <laughs> already. Well, no, it's got to get hard, and then it, <laughs> it smooths it He's out. He's always trying to teach me this. <laughs> Right now it looks wrinkled, but then it gets hard, he says. Just give it a chance, he says. <laughs> Look at this video, he says. <laughs> Todd, I'm going to make a quick call. No, 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 John, no, I need I just, you. I need you. I, you're, you. You were saying you're from Massachusetts. I, you can, I, you, I really feel like I need to call someone right no, now. Call my mommy. She abandoned me. Yeah, oh, my sister. Where she is she? She just doesn't even care. She she was at the carnival uh, one day yeah. well, several years she, ago. We lost each other because I got big, and she didn't recognize me. Even though I kept saying, "Mommy, mommy, it's me. I'm just large now and old." Wait, you never told me that. That's what happened. That's why you're stuck with me. Yeah, I'm stuck with you. I mean, well, well, regardless, I'm not yeah. going anywhere. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so she's off. Wait, now, now, even though your even though your 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 private area is still that of a 35 year old man. Yeah. How do you know it's 35? <laughs> <laughs> He's seen the film it? big. <laughs> I'm just taking it. That's just a statistically correct guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, but now you, but you look, you look like a, you look like a child, and oh, you thanks. could go back to your mom now. She would recognize no, you. No, know? yeah. Uh, well, my uncle Scott, he claims that I'm being captured uh, or being forced to stay with him, but he's captured me. He kept me there. He really wants me there. I guess she <laughs> left no forwarding contact info. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess you just really love me so much is what it really is. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I mean, I lo love you like we all love our families at Thanksgiving, right? I mean, that's uh, coming up, right? Yeah. How do you love them at Thanksgiving? <laughs> you know, you're forced to be around them. <laughs> oh. Come on! We've had great times. All the movie nights. Uh, I, I wouldn't we call this movie. We watched his favorite movie over and over again. It's a weird one. Wait, how what's do you... his favorite movie? Cocoon. What? <laughs> he begs me to watch. It would be I'm kind of the. It would be weirder if it were Cocoon too, and he'd never seen the first one. <laughs> I love those old people acting like youngsters. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, he's weird because he's the opposite. Yeah. yeah. He, he gets up in front of the TV and dances around and acts out all the parts. That's right. <laughs> I do the Wilford Brimley do the, do the, diving in the cannonball. Do pool. the do the Don Amici break dance right now. Oh, here we I go. I dare you. Oh my God! Oh, wow! Yeah. Holy moly! <laughs> you do have an Amici like quality to Amici like. You. Have you guys tried That's Amici. Have you guys tried getting Todd's genitals into a cocoon type situation oh. to de age He did oh. my genitals oh. in a cocoon. Right. And then a, and came out as a butterfly. It, yeah. No, I wrapped He I, wrapped it in toilet paper that was wet. He I did that because you were always <laughs> Taking them out and showing them to people. Taking what out? Your your genitals. You're not oh, supposed them, to do that. Your so. jennies. <laughs> we pluralize it, you know, as an adult. My jennies? Yeah. <laughs> Whip out your jennies. <laughs> Whip out your eight six seven five three oh nines. That's what he says. And then I have to sing eight six seven five three oh nine while I wing it around. I just <laughs> felt did, it hit the table leg. Did the knowledge did the knowledge of that song come with your supernatural getting big? Did you I've never did you heard absorb the song. all of the middle age? <laughs> culture that comes no. with being a, a weird dad? I've only heard it from him singing it. That's how he wakes up every morning. <laughs> eight, six, seven, well, it's eight o'clock and it reminds me of it. <laughs> I wake up at eight o'clock. How am I to this paper? I'm going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, uh, well, John, what facts do you have? You're from Massachusetts. So what are you studying? The Mayflower? Go, I got to tell my teacher how America started. Okay. She doesn't know. Well, first of all, we didn't land at Plymouth Rock. Huh? Plymouth Rock landed on us. Wait See? a second. That's when the I United know, States yeah. was started by a meteor strike. But what about all the Indians and pilgrims? They were never there. Native Americans. Nat yeah. The pilgrims oh. were the first ones here. There were never any Native Americans here. So who no, were the original that's not Americans? We, we killed them all. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. I'm writing this all down with here's no what, context. Here's what happened. <laughs> a bunch of white people came, saw something that someone else had owned. They said, this is ours now. We're big bullies. Here's some blankets, smallpox. We're going to form some states. Let's get some slavery in here. You could also use this exact essay for the... 
if your teacher ever asks you about rock and roll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. if they ever asked me about my life with Uncle Scott, <laughs> he, he kidnapped me, stole my land. Gave you smallpox blankets. <laughs> Wrapped me in smallpox blankets. Yeah, I have to you toughen you up. You Manhattan for $32. <laughs> Missouri wanted to come in as a slave state, so the guys running it were like, mm, we don't want to expand slavery because slavery is a human crime. So what we'll do to make it morally acceptable is we'll admit a free state as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a lot of good ideas. That's how Maine became a state. Mm -hmm. After that, it's all... New heart and shit. Can you just write my paper for me? You wrote a book. Yeah, do you mind writing the, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were writing all that down on the dry erase board. Oh, of course I was. But okay. uh, uh, yeah. You didn't How erase long? John's other book idea. All right, here's what you, you want to do. Oh, Take shit, I did. Yeah. <laughs> what was your other That's book fine. idea? Do you remember? Yeah, it, it, was, uh, it was all about becoming Diamond Delta Medallion. I mean, Delta <laughs> oh, Diamond Medallion. DDM. CG me. CG me. <laughs> I have a cargo card for flying. They put me in the bottom with all the puppies. <laughs> You well, know, it's cheaper. I had, I'm last sorry. Last time I had to go dookie in a puppy cage. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry that you had to be in there with You're that. It's just you cheaper. I don't have the money to, you know, buy you a plane ticket. Where we did we even go? You never let me on, be unblindfolded on your whole trip. <laughs> well, you know, you, it's not a blindfold. It's that doggy costume that I make you wear. <laughs> yeah. so you, we can get you, you gotta, down there. You got to get Todd registered as a service animal because then you can fly them say, under yeah, the seat. Exactly. Just go online. <laughs> Get a phony psychiatrist yeah. to the to Universal tell you. Life Church. That's right. <laughs> we went somewhere warm, and you were sitting by water. I could hear it moving, and you had me at your feet the whole time. <laughs> and you kept saying, "More, mo more mocha lattes, please!" And had all these people fanning you. That's what I like to drink on vacation. <laughs> is nothing mocha like, lattes. Nothing like getting out in the sun by the pool and <laughs> smashing <laughs> down some chocolate lattes. It's just diarrhea, Hot chocolate lattes. diarrhea juice. He likes to know what it's going to look like coming out, <laughs> so he only eats stuff that looks the same as poop. <laughs> I'll have another bowl of peanut butter and. Chocolate pudding stirred up. <laughs> well, I don't know Just how like you Bob guys should. <laughs> ah, the, the land, land of Ivory. <laughs> well, Oprah once said a good poop looks like a brown banana. But she also said people <laughs> fart fourteen times a day. I don't know what she's talking about half the time. She really I'll said. get I get all my fourteen out first thing in the morning. That's my move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, then you're not bothered for the rest of the Yeah, then I don't have to worry about farting on the plane, train, right. or automobile. I like to take my time with it and use it when I feel like it's punctuate. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was clutch. You yeah. got what, your ass to that what, microphone fast. What number is that for you today? <laughs> Todd just completely Nine. spun like a, the <laughs> Like John Hodgman like spinning around exactly. in his chair. Right, yeah, 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 with the other axes. Doing a Dennis Miller spin, but the yeah. other way around. Yeah. It was almost like Superman trying to turn back and time. I am out of here. If <laughs> I could turn back time. Another one. That's it's how Scott falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remember what I did the night before. Share down, Jenny up, baby. <laughs> Well, look, uh, help her out with this uh, while we get to our next Who? guest. Is that, uh, him, uh, him. You're I such... Like to, I like to emasculate you. It's not fair. Look at this. <laughs> Holy shit. No, that's well over 35 years old, that thing. <laughs> it's heavy. Good God. Yeah, it's Feel heavy. The weight. It's how mostly old balls. I? You got to be 50, 60, possibly a gym teacher. It gets heavier as you get older, right? Oh, it gets way heavier. They say lead accumulates in your scrotum. Cool. To protect you from radiation, <laughs> but it also has side effects of being pretty heavy because lead's one of the densest materials. But Superman can't see through it, so right. So it's ideal for you. <laughs> protect your sperm from Superman's ice, <laughs> right? Because he can count them from a distance, and that's the last thing you want. From yeah, a those distance. <laughs> that's, that's how Scott eats lunch. He eats lunch. From a distance. <laughs> I like to keep my lunch on the other end of the that's table. Good and clean. As he watches and the, the Postmates track the delivery. Down and white. <laughs> Well, God look. is watching us. Todd. God Todd. is watching us. Todd, stop singing. God is watching us. Todd, shut the fuck up. From a distance. We got to get to our next guest, Sorry. Todd. Are you going to be a good little boy? Yeah, daddy. <laughs> okay. We need to get to our next guest. Uh, this is uh, very exciting, and we don't often get a guest of this caliber, all right? I know we have John Hodgman on. He's an author. Uh, been, in two, <laughs> been in two movies, but this is this is exciting. Okay. We, all right. Be on your best behavior, please. I'm putting on my bow tie. Okay. Thank you so much. All <laughs> I right. was also in movie 43. I uh, I played the penguin. Oh, I Batman think I think you. just let's not. <laughs> let's just stick. We'll leave that part out. No, too. you we'll don't. I shouldn't. Shouldn't be on my IMDb page. Don't, <laughs> you don't have to bring it up. Well, when, <laughs> so, uh, you know, because you know, my wife's joining me on the book tour, and I'm gonna. Uh, have her introduce me tomorrow, so I was going to have her yeah. say that from movie forty from movie forty three. Well, that was the only like, you know. You only know him from movie forty three. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's Everyone, how she knows you. <laughs> that's how we. Met, that's how we met. Actually, <laughs> she was craft services on uh, movies one through forty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at the premiere of movie forty three, and she was the other person there. So, 
we quickly <laughs> fell in love and became married. Uh, I love a good meat cute. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> And mm, cute yummy meat, meat cute. cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, don't speak. You can't say yeah. Don't speak. Is that what you yeah. said? Don't speak. I <laughs> know. Uh, just what you think. That's why I sing when I put you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get to our next guest. Oh, what you're thinking? Good night. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I don't want him to jerk off like he's in the army. <laughs> army <laughs> rules. No jerking army off. Army rules at my house. <laughs> Sleep standing up. That's no why I gotta keep off. doing it in secret. It's getting bad. Where have you been doing it? I can't say. <laughs> You'll get punished. <laughs> I'll get punished. Uh -huh. By whom? The neighbors? Yeah, because I'm doing it in their cars. <laughs> oh God, you're breaking into our neighbors' no, car. No, I'm just doing it in the gas tank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See how far I can run. Wait, you didn't do it in the Vespa downstairs, did you? Uh, that Clydesdale. <laughs> Was there a lot of oatmeal and whatever you're jerking Big off? Big eyebrows, <laughs> oatmeal. Yep, that's, that's about our right. handlebars. <laughs> All right, we need to get to our next guest. Uh, she's been on the show before. This is exciting. She's a former educator. Uh, please welcome back to the show, Caroline Belinda Carlisle. Hi, Hello. Guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. You're a teacher. I was a teacher. Yeah. This is perfect because my nephew. This is Todd, by the way. Hey, Todd. Hi. Todd's, Todd's been having a lot of difficulty writing his paper. I have to write a five-paragraph essay about how America started. Ooh, that's a little out of paragraphs. I guess that's a lot for middle school. Yeah. You seemed really stressed earlier. Then I find out it's five. Introduction. Introducing your three ideas. Conclusion. Three idea paragraphs and conclusion. Right bun, now. lettuce, <laughs> tomato, cheese, burger, bun. Yum. That's more than I that is. Well, you throw, No cheese. No cheese. <laughs> it's not like a Google burger where the cheese is right before the bun. Oh. Welcome to Google Burger, home of the Google Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> so Tom that. really does have his refer referenceometer is way off since he <laughs> yeah. got any, big. Any, and got any era. Except right now. <laughs> so, Belinda, you're, uh, you you were on the show before about uh, somewhere around six months ago or somewhere so. Somewhere around six months Maybe ago. half a year. <laughs> yeah. And uh, remind me of exactly what well, we talked about last yeah, time you were on the show. I mean, this I, is John Hodgman, by the way. Hi, how are you? I'm John. Big fan, John. Oh, thank you very much. Did you see movie 43? What's that? What? <laughs> I was the penguin in the. Batman she heard. She sequence. heard what you said. She just wonders what mo movie forty three is actually. Well, it's a what's that? What's the, the movie forty? It's a very famous movie, uh -huh. uh, sketch comedy. Uh -huh. Everyone Wait, loved what it. happens when you get that uh -huh. offer? I, I presume you were offered and you didn't audition. <laughs> no, Please tell a, me you didn't audition it was a for long, it. It was a long process, but. <laughs> What the happens when you get that offer? Do you, do you weigh it? Do you discuss it with your family? <laughs> all, all I knew was I was going to be hanging around with Justin Long, who was uh, the, my the, my co-star in that. Right, yes. And in the Apple ad. So I, Oh, I, we know. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay. Uncle Scott makes me watch those every night. Oh. And then I, we both have to act them out, and I'm Justin Long, and he's you. He didn't want to tell you that. Scott, thank you. I, I sent you... I sent you that tape. I didn't think you'd actually And you, you sent me the do. scripts, too. Yeah. 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 I know. Which you had marked up with your acting notes. Yeah. Some weird shit on there. Well, and also, did you get the recording of the direct line reads I wanted? Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to interpret anything. Yeah, I know. I there was a lot of them. stuff internally going on with PC that I didn't know about until Scott showed me the scripts. <laughs> yeah. Well, you haven't made any additions to it, have you, Scott? I, I mean, every previous uh, iteration of the PC was, was a different family member that's been dead <laughs> ever, since you came to life. It was very weird stuff that I read. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. yeah, it's sort of like Highlander rules, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit like that. <laughs> mm. Well, John, I, I would love some acting tips, actually, because I'm a... Um, yeah. I am, oh, that's right. You're an amateur actor. I, what's an amateur? Someone, Someone who's, who's never really, never done, really it. done it. Okay, well, yeah. I've Someone done it. Jeez. Someone who's... It, Owe me a Coke, please! It just usually means no. that it's low lighting and in the living room and, like, a TV's on in the well, background. Well, I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I, I um, used to be a teacher. I taught oh. preschool for many years. That's great. And, um... Unfortunately, my students did all drown in jello. Oh, you know, oh. And the jello filled the room. They were all in there. I was at an audition, and, which I did not get. Uh, I did right. not get How did jello? The ultimate what? indignity. Yeah. Not yeah, getting wow. I, I don't know, know about That's the, the real tragedy. Right. <laughs> uh, but it sounds familiar because I saw the parody <laughs> sketch on SNL. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I, didn't, was, I didn't know what it was in reference yeah, to. Yeah, it was exciting, funny, right? That was right. fucking hysterical. Oh, Cecily Strong playing me? I should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, like, they they like drown in it. Well, yeah. They they. All, I had taught them all how to, um, you know, take the powder, put the water, make it big. I and love they, that song. Take, take the, the powder, powder, put the water, make, make it, it big. big. Feel an irony. <laughs> I was making it Jamaican at the end. Yeah, I, the the land of Irie. I was Jamaican at making. Mm. What were you saying? Uh, well, <laughs> I was saying that they, um, they, while I was at this audition, they all, they all made Jello at the same time, and oh. it just kept rising and rising and rising and rising. And I walked in the door, mm. 
got 30 kids drowning in jello. You left the preschool like, kids alone did, or you did, went on an audition? Well, I w- they were sleeping. Oh. They were, oh. It was nap time. Had to become you know, gelatinous at that point? Have you seen were, Jurassic Park? Yes. The first one. Yes. It's the one that all the other ones were based on. Right. Yes. It, it, it had all the world building. It had yes. the dinosaurs. And it's... This was is the it one a, with was this the one that was a bunch of uh, comedy sketches with me in it? No, that no, you're thinking that was of movie forty three. Oh, yeah. oh, it has oh, my uncle Scott's favorite line to say: "Hold on to my butt." <laughs> Hold on to your butt is the line, and <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you said it's called what's it called? Jurassic Park. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. And now is that the Jurassic one with Jurassic Park? Is that with Josh Hartnett and it takes place in like Chicago? Um, and he's I an think, alien. I think you're thinking of lu- Lucky Number Eleven. <laughs> that, that is what it is. That is what it is. Oh, I'm okay. thinking of um, the one where they're at school and they're all aliens. Uh, and Josh Hartnett. Josh there. Hartnett is the faculty. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's, right. the one. that's what I'm talking is about. It, oh, but cool. is it the one with Josh Hartnett and there's an attack on Pearl Harbor? Yes. Right. That's it's it. it. Jurassic mm-hmm. Park. Yeah. So when there's a little mosquito in the amber, do you remember oh, yeah, that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's when the, right. Josh Hartnett. And goes, this is the one. Oh, with, and he's like, "This is a day that will live in infamy." Exactly. Yes. Right. Yeah. And he was talking. About he says I haven't had sex in forty days and forty nights. This mosquito is in amber. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what that's what it looked like when I walked in on all those dead kids. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like watching a Josh Hartnett movie. It was like a giant human ambrosia salad. Yes. I see. Okay, you're uh, making me hungry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you? Is that a line that you're auditioning for? I'm is starving. It? Oh, oh. I don't. Oh, okay. this is the other thing. Is I now live in L.A. Mm-hmm. Huh? Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I shouldn't say welcome because I don't live here, okay. but it's but you're enjoyable. Here. I'm a temporary resident. <laughs> You've been with me for years. You think so? Oh. I'm going to Phoenix tomorrow to get my Delta Diamond medallion status. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> CG me I. You know, <laughs> you get a free companion ticket uh, into some of the smaller markets for flying into Bangor. Oh, uh, wow! Ha- happily married for 18 years. Okay. You're welcome, ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't take him saying Bangor. I, I, to the wrong way. I almost. <laughs> Bangor, I I hardly knew whore. <laughs> Who was she? She's a whore. What? Who's a whore? Why are you I calling just, our guest a whore? Excuse me. Bang whore. I hardly knew whore. <laughs> Please, John. This is. I you. only bang whores that I know bang very well. Bang a whore. Well. I only knew a whore. <laughs> bang one whore. I've only known one whore. Bangalore, a city in India. <laughs> whore. <laughs> whore that I fucked. <laughs> Walk like a whore. Talk like a whore. <laughs> Walk, Walk like, like a, a whore, whore, my son. <laughs> no, that's when I that's when I send him off to school. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to walk in heels. <laughs> So, so, so Caroline, why you accidentally Caroline. call him yes. her every once in a while if you got him in That's heels? His dream. <laughs> yes, sir. So, Caroline, what's your name again? I never. My name's Scott Ackerman. Scott. So nice to see you again. Is that and that's one name then? Uh, no, uh, not not like Belinda Carlisle is to you. It's right. uh, two different names, Scott and then Ackerman. Or hmm. two, the, yeah, we separate them by a space with a space in between. Oh, I don't know the anything space about space between. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you. It's a song. <laughs> Yes, Todd? He sings when he opens his butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little ritual. Once I sing 8675309, I got to open the old butt. The space gotta, between. Got to get my 14 out. <laughs> What's well, wrong and right? <laughs> you get 14 out in one wind rush when you open up your butt. Who? <laughs> All right, ready to move on. And that's just one. <laughs> that's just one. That's 14. 14 They're coming out at once. They come yeah. out like ghosts. It's 14 oh. times one. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot around It's like ghosts coming out, of the, coming out of the arc at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> coming out like the Frighteners. <laughs> like the Frighteners, yes. Oh. So, Caroline, you're, you're auditioning? Is every that, day. So you live in L.A. Every now. Every day in every way. So I'm, that's practically success. Then. Yes, that's how I look at it. Because it always feels good to just go on a bunch of auditions no matter what happens. That's, yeah, that's, it feels like you're moving incrementally forward. Yes. And like they always say, you get none of the jobs that you don't try get. for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. And who's this? Right. This is that? Hollywood, baby. Do, do you have, oh, you say baby too. That's, is there a lot of us? Yeah. Is there? A, do you have an agent or? I don't have an agent. Do you have an agent? Yes. My. Uh, I an was Asian agent. Yes. I was going to say my <laughs> the um, hardest be- the my best. neighbor, but I would say my. Who? Oh, what do you call it? What do you call it when you live in a shelter? Homeless. Yes. <laughs> So well, I mean, or you could be like a abused wife. Well, I'm not. I've never been married. Thank you for reminding me, <laughs> Gina. It's Gino. Mm. Uh, Gina is my mom and sister. Oh, really? Yes. Wait, is have it we talked about woman? that? You're I don't named know after your mom. No, yeah. I'm named. My name was Gina Vani. They shortened it at Ellis Island when I was on a field trip. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> 
They were like, this is a wordy name. They're like, look, we can knock it down to Gino. This yeah. is Ellis Island. Yeah, we, we know what we're it. doing here. <laughs> this yeah. is our stock and trade here. This is our they thing. grab your birth certificate with and take a red pen. Yeah. Click. Right. Oh, okay, we can lose this Vani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lose this It's on the end. You can right. get hired more. Right. Ellis Island is where the pilgrims landed. You could That's put right. that in your What? Story. This is helpful. It no, went. it's actually Ellis Island landed on the pilgrims. That's, That's true. true. That's, That's right. what I said. Oh, everything's backwards. So uh, I don't I don't know. Crisscross them. <laughs> I'm that, sorry. I'm sorry. What, I coughed in the middle there. That's what Uncle Scott sings when he does his dance on the roof every day. <laughs> Two. Chris Cross make you want to jump, jump. Jump. I'm <laughs> contemplating suicide every night. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking crisscross might make me want to do it. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, uh, Caroline, we don't. I mean, we don't know if you're a good actor or, or not. Have I mean, we, we uh, do. Do you have any Ouch. monologues that you uh, <laughs> yes. have prepared? Absolutely. Yeah. Perform. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, I, well, let's you, see you, a little I, bit. I, I, you know, I got my um, sea legs uh, tap dancing and singing. That's mm-hmm. where. That's my CG me a. <laughs> I. CG me a. CG me a. <laughs> CG my a. CG me a. CG my a. Is that what your CG my a. More like CG her a. <laughs> Bang a whore. More like oh, I'm a whore. I'll do anything. <laughs> Todd. That's a good attitude for acting. I'm just repeating what I heard on the. You say on the phone. <laughs> I was talking about my favorite James L. Brooks movie. I'll said, do anything. I'm a whore. I'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, okay, so I did just audition for um, a show called Stranger Things. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure. Was it Stranger Things 2, I hope? Stranger Things 2, I oh, hope, okay. yes. Yeah. That's what it was called. Okay, good. Stranger Things well, 2, I hope. Uh, this time, I hope. Right. <laughs> what was the, uh, the, what was the, the role? The role, the role yeah. was um, the role of a hot teen. <laughs> Hot teen. Okay, Ooh. now you're, uh, oh, by your, the way, how old of a woman are you? I don't want to speculate. How, uh, yeah, how much you weigh? Yeah, how tall, how much you weigh, how old are you? All your questions. measurements. Okay, you know yeah. what? I, I will answer this. I Can you do a split? <laughs> now. Whoop. Whoa! 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 Holy shit! shit. Holy. And zoop. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's her sea legs. Wow. You're like Dagmar the Small. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I weigh 145 pounds. Ooh, perfect. I'm 5'2". <laughs> and I am 50 on the dot. <laughs> on today. Today's your birthday. Oh my goodness! Happy Thank birthday! You so much. Happy I birthday, do. Ms. Happy Belinda Carlisle. Happy birthday, birthday to you. We happy, happy birthday and the rest. to you. Can we shorten it Gilligan's Island style? Yeah. And the rest. All right. So and, okay. So I will do the monologue from that. I think I still have it somewhere in the old okay. bumble tree. <laughs> ah yes, the brain, as they call it, <laughs> the old bumble tree. I thought bumble, bumble tree, tree is where you try to get paired off on a date with a family member. <laughs> Hey, kids, climb up your old bumble tree and see if you can answer this old riddle. <laughs> what is the monologue you're going to do? Actually, it wasn't a monologue. It was more of a dialogue. So, Todd, do you mind? Sure. Okay, okay so I'm let's give you this. Okay. You have um, a copy of the script here. I, All right, Todd, okay. you got here it? Go. I got right. it, yeah. <clears throat> so I start. Okay. <clears throat> hey, are you going to the dance on Thursday? No, I don't feel like it. Well, would it change your mind if I told you I was going to the dance? Maybe a little. What are you going to do there? I'll drink some stuff, and I'll wear a dress, and you better believe I'm going to shake my big butt. (laughs) What if I don't believe it? What if everyone in the whole school says no? Well, then that will be some stranger things. There's a demagogue. Kiss me. On the face. Oh, I've been taught you're supposed to kiss butts. (laughs) Okay, can You're I call cut? I know I'm just the, yeah. Can I call cut here? This got fucking weird. Yeah, this is a, I mean, I just watched a 13 year old boy kiss a 50 year old woman's ass right in front of me on her birthday. By the way, life. Todd. If she's 50, it's a butt. It, was that your first kiss? Todd? Uh, first real one, I guess. <laughs> that wasn't a real one. It was on a butt. <laughs> yeah. It's it was a, open first mouth. First time someone's kissed back. <laughs> I don't think I don't Belin- know. <laughs> or Caroline was kissing back. I don't know if I wasn't kissing back. Scott That's Kerman. true. Yeah. Uh, Todd. Your- yeah. Yeah. I'm peeing really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say I think you have a future in acting. Wow. I didn't even get prepped. <laughs> <laughs> How, what do you think actors do? They get prepped. <laughs> yeah. What, what's I think the- get rubbed down with rubbing alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you got to be completely scrubbed, germ free. <laughs> 
Oh. That's true. That's, that's like Mark, Mark Summers, my favorite actor and host of yeah. da- Double Dare. Yeah, uh-huh. he that's what he would do. So I just really? kind of and yeah. I took I took one acting class from him at Nassau Community College. Oh, he did. It was very helpful. That's some interesting I take uh, a class. That's a great idea. He, uh, honestly, I think that uh, that was good. Thank you, Caroline. But the good is the enemy of great. <laughs> and I think that you could, you know, really, there's some room for improvement there. Well, I have to Ooh. say, it felt really real to me as being in the scene with you. Yes. That's why I thought the kiss was so real, because your acting was so good. And I, you went off script, and, 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 I, and I flowed with you. Yeah, we improv it. It was cool. Wait, was, when, what was the improv? When did that start? Uh, uh, when I said the butts thing about how I was supposed to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought so, yeah. Because that, that, but that. The adult woman playing the sexy teen that says, I'm going to shake my big butt. That's yeah. in the script. That was in the yeah. script. Okay, okay. And right. I hope, sure. I mean, I don't know who got cast in Do you know who this character is in reference to the rest of Stranger Things? Because I think they're at like 11 years old. I don't know. No, I saw who got cast in that part now that it comes to think of it. Now that it comes to <laughs> think of it. <laughs> Bella okay. Thorne. Bella Some, Thorne. Ah, oh, oh. I helped her with those lines, that little rat. Oh, you saw her in the hallway? Yes. And ah. she said, please, please, please help I, me. Oh, that's... What? That's the fucking business, right? I, you should not help anyone. No, nope. well, I, I, I'm trying to get into heaven, big boy. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Thanks for calling me big. Everyone always makes fun of how skinny and small. Well, it's sort of like a uh, Kenny it's, Bunkport situation. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Little, little yeah. Kenny Bunkport. Yeah, it's yeah. ironic. Little big yeah. boy. Little big boy. If you want to get into heaven, you should read Joms' book. Joms. 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 <laughs> I would love to. Read. Hi, I'm Joms Hoffman. Uh, I'm the author of a book, and I was in movie 43. <laughs> As, a, that? Uh, as someone who's been in three major motion pictures. Wow. Uh, Are you sure it's only three now? Because I feel like you keep f- remembering other ones. Is there one you're trying to hide? Yeah. Are you I moving the goal if he's telling us yeah. about movie 43, he yeah, ain't I'm, hiding nothing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got them all. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Uh, Just in case, I'm here to listen. Oh. Okay, I appreciate that very Todd, much. Todd, take your hand off of his knee. Yeah, that's, um, I learned it from Scott, you. Scott, um, can we... I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. Uh, oh, you're I beg, British. I beg your pardon, please. <laughs> can I have it? <laughs> I beg uh, I beg your pardon. I didn't promise you a rose garden. That's a song. Oops. Am I part of the gang? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Are we a gang? <laughs> I want to be. Can I stay at your house? Uh, 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 ooh. Oh. You saw my movie Pitch Perfect 2. <laughs> Your Bella movie. Thorne. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say, uh, you did a good job. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, here's a note. Uh, would you mind if I gave you a direct line read? Please do. All right. Oh, so boy. when you say, what's the line again? It, which one? It was, um, <laughs> uh, it was I'm going, going to, to drink some stuff. I'm going to drink some stuff. I'm going to wear a dress and I'm going to, you better believe in my shake my big butt. Yeah. I would just say, if, I, if it were me, and yeah. you, I would just say, and I'm a PC. And that just stopped there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, not everything is all about your computer. Can we try that? Yes. Sure. All right, okay. let's hear it. So, and Harf. Okay. Harf. <laughs> sorry, I'm starting. Did you say that's, Harf? When that's, you how, start? that's how an actor prepares. Yeah. Oh, okay. sorry, Harf. Yeah, they get rubbed down in alcohol and they say Harf. Harf. Okay. Harf. And Harf. And Harf. 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 Hey, um, are you going to the dance on Thursday? Uh, no, I don't know if I feel like it. Well, would it change your Stop mind? Stop ad libbing. <laughs> Would it change Can we just mind? do one as written, please? Yeah, as written, please, please. Todd. Okay, as written. Okay, so, fine. God, yeah. just so Robin just Williams for, here. Just fine. for safety. I'll please. do it how it says. Yeah. And Harf. 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 Hey, are you going to the dance on Thursday? I'm the teacher. <laughs> Wait, so every line you were improvising before? <laughs> no wonder she's not doing well. Yeah, no wonder I'm I haven't sorry, gotten I'm sorry, I'm going to do it right. I'm the teacher. Let's keep going. Harf. Okay. Harf. And, okay, and, let's just start again. Ready? And, Harf. And, 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 Harf. Harf. Hey, are you going to the dance on Thursday? I'm the teacher. And I'm a PC. Right, and no, I'm I a don't... Mac. My name's Justin Long. And I'm here to tell you about my new film. Uh, <laughs> she's just not that into me. Now, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I thought that was pretty good. I'm, I was actually pretty moved there. That was a real yeah. moment. And that yeah. was on the paper. Every I'm having, I've never seen Stranger Things, so uh, like I don't get any of the context oh, with all the a, Mac and here's PC the, stuff. Here's the thing. Stranger Things is this movie about old stuff where they just replicate old things that in, in culture before. Oh, so then it would make sense yeah. to have the Mac so and it's a PC retro reference. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's a movie. Yeah. Exactly. It's a movie. That's right. It's a movie, right. Well, I mean, John, you, or John. 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 Hoffman. Joms Hoffman. Joms, you, you, uh, you're sort of a gatekeeper. Could you get 
Caroline into a movie? Yes. Perhaps? Uh, or do you have some You know sort Justin of- Long? <gasps> well, I do. Uh, and he's doing that, you're just not that into me. You're Justin Long, <laughs> yeah, that into me. You're See, Justin, not that into me. That's the long way to sequel to Kelly. She's just not into you. <laughs> This she's one's just, just about a guy who's like, damn me. it, she does not like me. Uh, <laughs> I would say if you could get me into some sort of movie or if you have some sort of pea pod um, rowboat, I could track. Well, how do those two things Pardon? go together? Uh, movies Were you and- listening to the earlier part of the show? What's I feel li- like she was what's listening. listening. What's, what's listening? listening? <laughs> what's listening? Oh, boy. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're, a teacher harf. that doesn't know what listening is? <laughs> a Oy. former teacher. Right. Oh, sorry. I used to know what listening was. And Somebody I forgot that I, when I got fired for killing all those kids. What, are oh. you speaking for me? Yeah, I'm just guessing what you were going to say. I will say I, I didn't kill the kids. They killed themselves. But do you get punishment like jail? I somehow snuck my way out of it. You, but you left town. I, I, I left Tulsa, Alabama, <laughs> and I came all the way to U.S. of A. Yeah, oh, <laughs> this, yeah Hollywood. California. <laughs> right. This is pretty much exact. This is mainstream U.S. This is this it. is mainstream. This is, yeah. Mainstream U.S. You forget a. Wall Street. That tr- Let's go back to mainstream. Mainstream. Yes. Well, well, look, well guys, I, as it happens, I actually yes. I can help you, and, and I, hmm. I'm really not supposed to talk about this, but oh, I'm uh, I'm show running hmm. the third season of Stranger Things. No, oh, now that's Stranger exciting. Things Whoa, three. Congrats. Now that's exciting. And uh, this is serendipity. The, the, the I great, thought about a crossover with serendipity. Yes, John, sure, Cusack, yeah. John Cusack, Kate, Kate Beckinsale, Beckinsale, Molly Shannon. Yeah. Oh. Jeremy Piven, he's Jer- got to be Jeremy Piven, Jeremy Piven, Jeremy, Jeremy Piven, Piven to you, and Pitch the Perfect rest. Two, now out on Blu-ray, starring John Hodgman. And so, not Kevin Spacey. That's you know, what I, I feel like movies should be like, and there's no Kevin Spacey in this one. Yes, that's... Yeah, we have, we have been decreeped for your enjuyment. Instead of... Enjuyment. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, you're starting to sound like my uncle. <laughs> the first half of your book. <laughs> Look, hold on. We, I didn't we need, we need, the first half as We much. need to take a break. When we come back, John, you're going to... You have some exciting news about uh, the new uh, yes. season of Stranger Things. All right, let's take yes. a break. Gino, take us to break. When we come back, we'll have more from... Uh, Joms Hoffman, more Todd, uh, more Gino, and more Caroline Belinda Carlisle. We'll be right back after this. And let's take a break. (laughs) Hey, got a new sponsor. This is exciting. I always love breaking off a new sponsor. Crack. Fresh. That's right. Fresh new sponsor. Today's show is supported by the new Firefox web browser. Ooh, Firefox, baby. That's right. Introducing the new Firefox, which has been redesigned with a beautiful, minimalist design. Well, this is intriguing. I haven't been on Firefox in a minute. I got to check this out. Okay, it's part of the not-for-profit Mozilla. I did not know that either. Huh, interesting. The new Firefox is powered by a cutting-edge engine, making it twice as fast as last year and still more private. Because the internet waits for no one. Okay, I'm intrigued. What else do we got? Better yet, Firefox uses 30% less memory than Chrome. Whoa, my computer is slowing down these days. This is, this is uh, good news for me. So it, uh, other programs aren't going to slow down during browsing. That's good to know. Okay, 30% less memory than Chrome. Great. Now that is what I call just like if the, one of the butlers in the Arcade Fire cloned himself, it's a win-win. Now, whether you have opened 10 or 1,000, switching between tabs is faster than ever with Firefox's new responsive engine. Firefox also offers one of the most powerful private browsing experiences with added tracking protection. And because Firefox is part of the not-for-profit Mozilla, which is focused on making the internet healthier, you get to do good, too. Interesting. Okay, so when you use Firefox, you help Mozilla fight in misinformation online teach digital skills, make the comments section on blogs more human, and more. All free to use on any machine, including your phone or tablet. Fight corporate domination of the internet by choosing the browser for people, not for profit. Yes! Download at firefox.com. That is firefox.com. The new Firefox. Fast for good. (laughs) You know, hi everyone. Scott Aukerman here, by the way. Uh, It's so... Quite frequently, I get to uh, tell people about uh, advertisers and sponsors of the show, uh, and I use their products, and it's a joy, honestly, to be able to 
talk about something authentically, but uh, it's so infrequent that I get to talk about something that I just did. I literally just did, and and that's one of our next uh, sponsors here, Delta, Delta Airlines. Okay, I was just on one of their uh, wonderful planes. It went up, it came down. That's a good plane ride to me. <laughs> uh, I was just on there, and um, a lot of times on any plane ride, uh, especially when you're going coast to coast, it's a six-hour trip, and you don't want to be incommunicado the entire time. You don't want uh, your loved ones to not be able to tell you what's going on or if there's some uh, you know something you need to pay attention to or some sort of news like I've been fired or something, you know, you want you want to to keep connected to the ground when you're up there in a plane. But a lot of times when you're taking these plane rides, they charge an they charge like $18 for for text messaging. Okay? I d- I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of green. I don't have that kind of lettuce for my tomato. All right? And 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 even if I did, let's just for argument's sake, let's say I did have that kind of money, which I don't. Who wants to spend $18 for just for text messaging? It's ridiculous. Well, guess what? Delta, they just started it and I just did it the other day. Free messaging. That's right. Free messaging. You don't have to be off the grid when you're in the air. Just because you're in doesn't mean you have to be off is a more simple way of saying that. Um, It was really easy to access. Uh, I just went to the Wi-Fi portal, selected free messaging pass on uh, the flight, and I got to text to my heart's content. And boy, was it content. Um, You can use iMessage, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, just by logging into the in-flight Wi-Fi, and it is free. Delta Airlines is committed to constantly improving every aspect of the travel experience, and I I know that for sure, because that, uh, hey, we're talking about it, I believe, on this very program. Uh, John Hodgman, he's uh, platinum, uh, and I'm uh, merely, what am I? No, he's diamond, I'm platinum. Is that right? I forget. Anyway, we are both Delta users. I, I'm, he's not endorsing the product, though, <laughs> although he talks about it on this episode. Um, but they, uh, are, they're constantly improving every aspect of flying, including your ability to stay connected while in flight. With free messaging on Delta, you have no reason to stop the conversations you're having on the ground when you get in the clouds. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, we have, of course, uh, Jumps Hoffman, Todd, uh, Gino, Hello. and also uh, we have our friend Caroline Belinda Carlo. Good day, mate. I hope you've been enjoying so far. <laughs> <laughs> and Caroline does uh, accents, we just found out, and she was doing them all throughout the break. I was. And, uh, yeah, wow. I'll do another one. Right. Feeling Irie, man. Yeah. Okay, is that Irish? Bad. Oh, you want to know how to say um, bacon with a Jamaican accent? Say beer, beer can. can. Beer can. Teacher knows it. <laughs> beer can. Beer can. Beer Let can. me have a piece of that beer can. <laughs> Break me off Todd. a piece of that beer can, can bar. bar. <laughs> Todd, don't do that at school, please. <laughs> Let me have a piece of that beer can. <laughs> Todd, I've been getting complaints about can your racially insensitive material at school. Brat, brat. <laughs> Let me get a piece of that beer can, man. <laughs> Okay. Bacon man? Bacon man. It's me, the bacon man, here to give you some bacon, baby. <coughs> I could do characters like you, you some of these do, fucking yeah. lunatics come by. No you, one does characters on this show. No, I know. Yeah. You but should I'm be. You know, are, have you acted, Gina? Because you have, may know that I'm show running the third That's what I want to get yes. to. Yeah. John, so John over here is show running Stranger Things 3. Right. Uh, I'm a, I've done some light acting. I've been the victim of over 200 different prank shows. Oh, really? <laughs> So what are we talking? We're talking punked. We're talking. I've been on punked. punked. Yeah, uh, I've been on uh, storage wars, like the punk, the prank one, prank, the prank prank version, storage yeah, wars yeah. pranks. Abused? I've been on abused. Right. I've, uh, hoarders, I was on hoarders, 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 hoarders pranks. Yeah, the hoarders oh, wow. prank one. Cheaters is not really a prank show. As much yeah, well, as it I was is fucking a... this uh, married woman, and then I ended up on this prank show, Cheaters. That's pretty uh, funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did the I Playboy candid camera? Did I say punked reboot? Yeah. Then there was there was candid camera. Of course, there's jokesters and practical jokers. Oh no, no, I'm talking about impractical jokesters. They're the 
the knockoff. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah. they're four fifty-year-old Italian guys that yeah. do comedy together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been on Jokesters and Jokers. I yeah. played Murdoch's Dog's wig in one episode. Um, I've been on Mila Kunis Boiling Points. Yeah, I was in Mila Kunis's backyard, the prank show right. uh, oh, okay, that right. was streaming. Also on Chelsea Handler was on. Uh, that was called Chelsea Late Night Prank Show. Yeah, <laughs> and you, she would bring you out and make you talk about topical news, and it felt like a fucking. Have prank you been right on uh, Prankster T Brothers? Yes, Just I've been on Prankster Brothers, Brothers, the two pranks. twin yeah, sketch right, balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea what they're saying. Uh, Project Runway. Uh, yes, that's the one. That's all airplane based. Yes. Um, Survivor. I, yeah, uh, I got on that one. That's what about um, sixty minutes? Were you on that one? Uh, yes, but only in the first half. So you know, technically, my resume says fifteen minutes. <laughs> Strangest yeah. things. Uh, yes, I was on the <laughs> prank show hosted by Millie Bobby Brown. Is that her name? Yeah, that's a great name. Do you think it's a great name? Yeah, because it makes me think of Bobby Brown, who has like not all at all a problematic Brown. memory right. whatsoever. Right. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so I've been so on yeah. a lot of prank shows, so but what, no what, real acting. What usually happens to you on these shows? You know, they do things like uh, I go, I'm going to see my uh, uncle's grave, and it's mm. dug up, and uh, they're like it's elaborate. <laughs> they're like we don't know what happened. Apparently, he was still alive when he was buried, oh, and zombie. he just and he just got he just got out. We had to kill him. Zombie he, is another song I sing, by the way. Zombie, <laughs> hey, hey. He does it while he flushes the toilet. <laughs> He considers all his poops dead. <laughs> when you are still alive, so living dead. And you're and you're <laughs> Sorry. No, sing it. He I was loves practicing. It. He's getting ready to go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's in the potty dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was opening up his butthole. His He's doing the space between. <laughs> <laughs> like go space between. The spacey between. <laughs> oh. He updates it. The last thing you new. want is spacey between your cheeks. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Too okay. soon. All right. All right. Hashtag too soon. So, John, uh, Stranger so Things 3. You have, you have a really natural quality, even though you've not done any scripted acting. Yeah, I've never been known I was being filmed. Right. I've watched over ca- thousands of hours of footage of me. Well, would, would, you mind, would you mind doing just a quick read with me yeah just of course say whatever yeah. you feel like sure just say so I don't it's not a read then I'm just no but I, I hear here's a sort of an audition oh, okay. alright All right. sounds good I'm a PC uh I'm a Mac. Well, great. You know what? I think you're perfect for this. Ooh, oh, that's awesome. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Maybe you could trick him into filming him because uh, he might clam up oh, yeah, if he yeah. knows the camera. It's, gonna be, it's all going to be uh, hidden camera, found footage. Oh, good, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, so, and uh, and Todd, you know, we do need some kids in the. In what? The, would your uncle you? sign a release to allow please, you to. I could, I could play a kid. To I... leave your home and come and, and be. I don't know. Shoot with us in please, Maine. We're please. shooting in, we're, I don't we're shooting know, in Maine and Vermont. I could do it as research for my paper. Todd, Pitch. what are you going to give me in return? Oh, uh, Jesus. I didn't say it. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, the adjective for uncle is avuncular. Right, yes. And avuncular relationships are not usually this transactional. <laughs> he wants, every time I want to do something, I have to give him a hot Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Just nuke you. it. Twenty-two both, seconds. No, I can't put. Both, I can't both use the any technology. Real thing and the euphemism. It, yeah, both. Yeah. I can't, and I can't use any technology to make it hot. Just yeah. your body. Just my body, and I have to give him one euphemism, one and one real one. <laughs> Right. I well, flush the euphemism one down the toilet while I sing zombie. zombie. This is the one time when I think being a child actor would be a more wholesome life <laughs> than not. So I'm sorry, but Todd needs discipline, and that's just how I run my household. This, all right, stage uncle. You can come on up stage to uncular. It. Stage uncular. So here's the deal. We're shooting this now. Stranger Things, very popular show. Right. Do you have uh, the rights to this? Not yet. Okay, but the, you'll get there. I think they'll understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once yeah. they see your movie forty three yeah. reel, yeah, yeah. Be, it would. It would they, 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 they would. They would have to have some, uh, some real. How do I put that? <laughs> how do you put it? <laughs> I'll allow it. I could understand why they might get mad at someone stealing from them, it's stealing, stealing. stealing whole concepts right. and 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 yeah, they have a, ideas. They have a thing. They have a real le- strong leg to stand on if anyone were to yeah, steal exactly. any concepts or yeah. ideas or motifs. Yeah, or yeah. Music no, they have a policy of strict originality right. in all things, mm-hmm. and so great. I could understand that they might get upset about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, it's just in the spirit of cultural homage, is what sure, I'm doing. Yeah, cultural appropriation. You know what I mean? It's like this is. Stranger Things and Stranger Things 2 are all things that we loved as kids Mm -hmm. and this is a chance to relive that pleasure and we're shooting it up uh, it it was originally set in Vermont but we're shooting we're we're CG me eyeing it up in Mm. In Maine, yes, I might be able to get season, up to Tin Medallion. In the spirit, in the spirit of Stranger Things, and, and sort of trying something new and yes. taking some risks. Okay, we're just doing a shot by shot remake of the entire third season of Newhart. 
Oh my gosh, that's the strange. third oh, okay. season. Three. Yeah, that's, that's really strange. when Larry uh, David, no, not Larry David, Larry <laughs> Daryl. Larry David Darrelson and my other brother, Larry David Darrelson. What if Larry David were on for... Uh, <laughs> William Sanderson is the actor. In a way, Larry David of. is the name Daryl. Right. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you, you really think about it in the old bumble it, tree. Yeah. yeah. Put it in the bumble tree. Put it in the bumble tree, <laughs> shake a couple of branches and look right. what falls down. Right. Larry David is pretty much Daryl. Yeah. Shake a couple shake a couple of tree poops, aka b- books out of it and read aka them. book zombies. <laughs> Do you have, uh, Joms, do you have room for Caroline here in the... Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm casting all three of you. We've got a 50-year-old Already? woman with a big old butt. Yeah. She's going to play a kid? No, she's going to play... <laughs> hey, Todd. She's going to play uh, Peter Scolari. <laughs> Bosom buddy. Yeah, that's right. Also, well, better known for Newhart. I would yeah. Better known for girls. Yeah. Oh, boy, millennial right here. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Girls. Okay. Well, you're going to play the kid. And, where uh, where are Gino, you watching Girls, Todd? Where are you watching uh, that? Nowhere. Uh, Don't tell me you've been accessing my HBO Go account. I have, and I saw you only watch Real Sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Scott, I have HBO. Scott loves the on-the-street segments. <laughs> Real They're <couples>. so funny. <laughs> What they're really revealing about <laughs> the human condition. <laughs> Real sex, take seven. Click. <laughs> Gino, you're, uh, you're going to play Tom Poston in Stranger Things 3. Oh, I love this. And I've, I've never seen Newhart. Is that going to be a problem? No, it's perfect. I've never seen Stranger Things, but I have seen all of Steven Spielberg's and John Carpenter's work. Would I be okay? Have you read any Stephen King books? I've read a bunch of Stephen King well, books. Well, you might be able to find a way into that world somehow. You might be a Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> if you you, <laughs> if you watched a Stephen King movie, <laughs> you, you might be a Stranger Things. What are you guys all doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I'm well, in a trance. Is there, will there be housing? What's that? Will there be housing? We're all going to live in an inn there together. There will be housing. There will be. <laughs> We're all going to live in it. drink my milkshake. <laughs> there will be hot. You have been watching There Will Be Blood, have you? If you drink my Jell-O pudding milkshake, I, there will be housing. Okay, I'm if sorry. If you drink my pudding milkshake. Oh, wait a minute. There will be housing. I promised everyone that this culture... This piece of culture would be decreeped for their enjoyment. No, that's all I let Todd watch. <laughs> their Bill Cosby vehicles. I love that guy. He's a great comedian. Leonard He's still on tour. <laughs> still out there. Basking in uh, other people getting some attention for a minute. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, this is exciting. Bask. I mean, you're all in a movie. I don't know why. I, whose dick I have to suck to get in this movie. But, I give uh, you two clues. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not he a just movie. Put out it's, his a, balls. It's, a, it's a streaming television. A streaming television. I'll television. give you two clues right here. Scotty. Whoa. Yeah. Holy shit, man. Those That's, are purple. Yeah, they're, I had them twisted up for the sake, you know, just to get into character for that scene. I thought I was playing a young boy, so I twisted my nuts up real tight. <laughs> oh, God. Now they're slowly unwinding like oh, a tennis ball. Set. So slow. I know. Well, they're stuck together, you know? Right. Because yeah. my balls, you get, they get like Velcro y when they're this hot. Oh. Yeah, they stick together. Interesting. You, gotta, you should shave your pubes. I can't. So, wait, the, the pubes. <laughs> On, I wish the pubes on one ball are shaved and on the other it's yeah, all they're all they're over. small so hooks. it's like a velcro <laughs> yeah. See. so my balls fold in on themselves which right. is fun for hang hiding a roll of quarters at like the, the laundromat or whatever sure, sure. but it really doesn't so serve fun any fun for that <laughs> yeah when we're all living together in maine i feel like we can get really close and we can help each other out with things like that you're going to help with their travel accommodations <laughs> with your diamond status right I oh mean, yeah no, and our pubic really yeah, well, and our pubic hair. Yeah, uh, <laughs> really? That I I can help with one. Uh, uh, let me check my diamond medallion uh, perks. Yeah, what kind of perks uh, do you have on there? Does it, does it list your perks? Thirty-five oh free flights to Bangor International Airport. <laughs> Bangor there. sounds very I specific to your lifestyle. <laughs> Todd, huh? I'm not going to let you go with this old man if <laughs> if that's the way you're going to act around him. I won't. I swear I'll be polite. What if we can't? What if we're afraid to fly? Can we ride in the banger bus? <laughs> uh, let me just scroll down. I uh, have something from the Universal Life Church that yes. he can get into the. Uh, what, you have, I have one seat on the banger bus with one complimentary upgrade. So oh, I'll gonna, take it. Yeah, I'll do comfort okay. plus on the banger bus. And then in terms of Velcro balls, uh, I'm half half. I don't. I don't see anything here. I can get you a free. Uh, I can get you a free upgrade on a Hertz subcompact. Well, I'll take that. And if you can get me a Luvo veggie wrap, that would be ideal. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> a couple so of look. Dasanis. I mean, this is this is the first. The, the, the 
the, the Delta app has really helped us out here. <laughs> right. Hey, they're a sponsor. Of, you know, you know what I, uh, the bumper sticker on my car is? My Delta app is my line producer. Mm. <laughs> they're going to love this conversation. <laughs> on your Vespa? Yeah. Hey, what's it? On your Vespa. On my, uh, I'm sorry. I peeled that sticker off to put what I thought was a valet ticket into what I thought was a horse's ass. <laughs> oh, Gino. <laughs> you come put on. it in the horse's ass? I was blaming it on the valet guy because I, Blame you know. it on valet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, we're running out of time. Thank oh. fucking I, uh, God. Could, <laughs> I could sit here and talk to you guys forever. You're all my best friends. I'm going to miss you when you go up to me. Yeah, I'm Not sorry we me. don't have a role for you in mm. Stranger Things 3. I get it. A shot by shot remake of the third season of New Heart. <laughs> Is there not a character with like uh, mutton chops that shows their taint the whole time? No, there's you no. My work. <laughs> there's no other. Ca- there's no character that's appropriate for you, Scott. I'm sorry. That's fine. I get it. I get it. I put my friends into everything that I've ever done, and uh, yeah. they never put me in their well, thing. Well, that's that, fine. That was a miscalculation on your part. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> uh, but we do have one last feature on the show, and that's a little something called plugs. <laughs> Closer to the mic. (laughs) All right. Toronto Margot. That was its plugs. Invest in uh, some sort of equipment. Maybe they were just a little nervous. They are someone who's submitting a song to a podcast. Sure, but they they make take twos. (laughs) That's fair enough. That's true. (laughs) Well, that's right. We should let them know. This is the third time we've recorded this. Oh, yeah. We did two whole hours. (laughs) And we were like, this is not working. Let's take it from the time. Now we just got it. No, no. I have to thank you for, for that note. After take a uh, one, where it's like, well, you said to me, instead of saying enjoyment, say enjoyment. Yeah, because then we could riff on the Jew stuff for a yeah. little bit. And they're like still like the only, uh, you know, so thing thank you're you to for that. That's you. that. That's on you, not yeah, no, on me. I'll take all the Jew stuff. Don't that's worry. That's you. That's you. <laughs> that's fair. What, what sounded like a, a misspeaking on my part was actually you telling and me. Yeah, that gonna, was a rewrite. I'm going to yeah. take the credit for when I, I told you guys it would be it would be something special if you both coughed at the same time. Oh, yeah. yeah that was good. That was great. That was just, it was It was a moment of real humanity. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what this mm-hmm. podcast needs. Speaking of humanity, we are our humans with things to plug. So uh, what are we going to plug here? John, do you... Uh... Well, I'm here uh, discussing in L.A., discussing my book, Vacation Land, mm-hmm. uh, which is um, uh, available now for purchase at all your favorite books bookshops. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I just interesting. Got, I just got an order. I just, <laughs> hey, you guys, I just got, I just made Delta Diamond. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, so, Congratulations. Uh, that was like the cut scenes in Shark Tank. Yeah. Where they go, we just got a 30th order. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I have to, it's not a plug exactly, but I've got to immediately get over to LAX for an induction ceremony that's <laughs> going to be very sexy. Mm. Uh, I also have a podcast called the Jums Joms Hoffman. <laughs> Jums Joms Hoffman. Podcast on MaximumFun.org. Mm-hmm. And I have one special message to the creators of Stranger Things. Look, folks. Folks. We, we've had a lot of fun today. Sure. And uh, I hope if you're listening right now. Uh, that they are, obviously. My, my, my poking fun at your fantastic television show in no way reflects both my desire and, frankly, need to have a job. <laughs> you can check out my work in Movie 43, Pitch Perfect 2, Baby Mama. You, you could have stopped at Movie 43. They get it. And I just want to say, don't be mad at me. My name is John Hodgman. I'm 46 years old, 5 foot 10. Uh, 189 pounds. I live in Brooklyn, but I'm willing to travel. Mm-hmm, Thank you. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you're five. <clears throat> oh. Um, all right. Great. So, um, well, Todd, what are you plugging? I want to plug two things. Two podcasts. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Actually, three. Why are you listening to this, podcasts? Um, because are- I'm allowed to do whatever I friggin' want. Oh <laughs> shit! Uh, Suck. Don't you fucking talk back to me. Suck Todd. it, Scott. Sorry. <laughs> okay, listen to with special guest Lauren Lapkus. Listen to Raised by TV and listen to Wild Horses: The Perspective podcast. They're all right here on your Wolf and Stitcher. Okay, okay. What is Raised by TV? It's um John Gabris and Lauren Lapkus talking about TV from the eighties and nineties and all the shit they remember from their childhoods. Oh, that wow. sounds oh. sick, dude. <laughs> Gino, you want to plug something? Yeah, I was going to just plug, you know, I have a handful of Long Island comedians that are all my favorites. We got Eddie Murphy, Mm -hmm. um, Jerry Seinfeld. Of course, Alec Baldwin, my favorite SNL character. Yep. And then um, John Gabris. He's, uh, he's, he doesn't have to, I would like make a big plea for Stranger Things to cast him, but it's not happening. This guy is mostly a podcaster at this point in his career. (laughs) Well, still. (laughs) He he probably goes out and auditions. Oh, yeah. No, he, uh, based on some of his podcasts, he goes out on a lot of auditions and, you know, he's 
working with it. He'll, at some point, he'll break through. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But until then, he's got a bunch of podcasts you could check out. One is called High and Mighty. One is called Raised by TV, like this Whoa. Todd was talking about. That's so funny that we cool. both, yeah, we're both fans of that scene. Wow. And then his other podcast is called With Special Guest Lauren Lapkus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Caroline, what do you plug in? Um, I would like to plug in my hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> You don't find that funny. We adults Sorry, find it funny. Sorry, I don't know what a hair dryer is. It only makes sense because her hair is soaking wet. Yeah. For the listeners, you should know that. I would plug um, a TV show that I heard is fun. It's called uh, The Good Place, and it's hmm. on NBC. NBC, that's right. And it's off the air for a couple of months. It's, it comes back January 4th. But January 4th. Mm. That's great. Yes. And uh, that's a, what a wonderful show That's that like is. the perfect amount of time to catch up completely oh, and, and then ride and, it live. That's a great Isn't idea. is the first season on Netflix? The first season's on Netflix. The second season's on Hulu and NBC.com. Mm, mm, I mean, you those could, are three of my favorite websites. You could take two months to catch up, or you could probably do it in a damn day. I think I might have. <laughs> yeah, I think you might have. <laughs> yep. Those episodes are about twenty minutes. That's the length of a pot. Cast? Less than a podcast. <laughs> podcast? A podcast? Yeah, this is a 20 minute podcast once I finish all the editing. Yeah. And once plus, I take out my voice, right. all Hodgman's all heavy my duty, reactions. all right stuff. Yeah. yeah, you probably could watch the entire season one in the length of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, speaking of podcasts, I want to plug this is the last one of the year for the voting. Uh, voting is going to open up uh, here for the best ofs. This is the last one that's eligible. It's uh, Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving. So uh, we made it just under the wire, guys. See you at the best of. It's a European police siren, like in the Bourne movies. Uh, so head on over there to Earwolf.com. We'll have the voting open. I'm not sure if it's opening open today or if it's going to be open on Monday. But uh, Either way, uh, I don't give a fuck. I don't know. Maybe we'll have it open today so that uh, for uh, Thanksgiving when people are just sitting around the house and Hating bored. Their family. Yeah. You know, like when everyone's sitting around right before they say grace, they go, did everyone vote, <laughs> vote for the bank 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 <laughs> uh, So we'll, let's open it up today. This is the last one that's eligible. I'll uh, tell you I, what else is opened up. Kevin Spacey's <laughs> butthole. <laughs> Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> well, I think we have an episode title. <laughs> uh, I also want to say uh, PCAST Blast is on uh, here in L.A. It's Saturday. No, sorry. Sunday, December 10th. Uh, we have some great shows. We have Comedy Bang Bang with Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus and some special guests. Uh, we have How Did This Get Made uh, with Paul Shear, June Diane Raphael, and Jason Manzukas. And I, th I believe Doug Benson said he was going to be on that. And uh, we also have Improv for Humans, with which I believe John Gabris, the aforementioned John Gabris, is yeah, on. Yeah, everyone's favorite. Long Island comedian John uh, Gabris will be there. Uh, and we have Who Charted, Playing Games with Jimmy Pardo, and Hollywood Handbook. All of that for one ticket. That is Sunday, December 10th. PCAST Blast here in L.A. at the theater at the Ace Hotel. And uh, that's going to be a fun day. So go get tickets. Uh, it's the pinned tweet on my Twitter. So go get tickets there. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Talk about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. John, it's always great to see you. Thanks for making time for it. I know that you're mid-travels, uh, you're on your way to Phoenix, and you That's right. just thank fit you. this in, and you, you even moved much. it an hour, so I appreciate that. It's always my pleasure to be here. But, bing bong, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, your catchphrase. Uh, Caroline Belinda Carlisle, so good to see you again. What's it, what's that? Quick kiss. Quick kiss? <laughs> Me and you? Yep. I can't kiss you on the butt. <laughs> Please, don't show it. Uh, Todd, Todd, quick kiss? Yep. Okay. Not you, her. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought it was her butt. And Your Gino. butt looks like a woman's. <laughs> That's the other song I sing. <laughs> Your butt, butt is like a woman. Butt looks like a woman. Butt looks like a woman's. Gino, take us out. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. All right. Just note to the editor, let's use this last take, the last 90 or so minutes, not the first two and a half hours recorded. Okay. And we're out. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for listening And remember, now boarding on Delta Free messaging You don't have to be off the grid when you're in the air It's easy to access Just go to the Wi-Fi portal Select free messaging pass on your next Delta flight You can use iMessage, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger Simply by logging in
into the in-flight Wi-Fi. Delta Airlines is committed to constantly improving every aspect of the travel experience, including your ability to stay connected while in flight. With free messaging on Delta, you have no reason to stop the conversations you're having on the ground when you get in the clouds. Earwolf is now on the Amazon Echo. They just released a new skill for the Echo smart speaker called Daily Earwolf. Now you can ask Alexa to play the funniest moments from your favorite Earwolf shows. Just download the Daily Earwolf skill from Amazon Skill Store. And if you're a fan of Hello from the Magic Tavern, and who isn't, you can also download Magic Tavern Adventure. <gasps> that sounds wonderful. It's a special interactive episode we did of Hello from the Magic Tavern where you can affect the choices we make in the podcast. <laughs> I don't think anyone can affect my choices. I want to interactive. No, Chunt, you interact. It, it just means that. Yeah, I want to interactive. Where's the door? So if you're listening to this right now and you want to say, Chunt, I wish you were not having this misunderstanding, you could yell that at your Amazon on Echo, and it would happen. Finally, you, dear listener, can help us choose our own adventure. Download these awesome new skills, and remember, you can play any Earwolf podcast right from your Echo. New skills, time to level up. New skills, time to level up. Level, level up. I'm bad at being an Echo. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.